Yo, what's up? What's going on? Uh, Chainsaw Spank, how are things? Hope you guys are doing well. Mm -mm, just found out the Serpent Bone Blade was supposed to be infusible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What can you do? I don't know why they went back on it. I'm, I'm not sure if it was like a bug or something or like just last second decision. It's just like, <laughs> it wasn't going to be broken. Like the Venomous Fang could be infused. It's like the same thing. Garenk is harder than Malekith. <laughs> I disagree. You stay out loud, get smashed? No. No. I just got to sleep late, and then I woke up late. It's been a while since I woke up this late. Yeah, I know. Bad streamer. What can you do? Um, those stripped of the grace of gold shall... <laughs> Embrace the Mesmus Coiled Shield. Yes, that is in fact correct. Wait, hold on a second. What is the scale of? <laughs> it just has a strength scaling. Okay, cool. It just has a strength scaling. Okay, so it looks like I go all into strength. Wait, does it have a dexterity requirement? Of 10. Okay, cool. Um, Neon, what's going on? Do you think Mesma impaled the giants at Flame Peak? I am not familiar with the lore. Um, I'm not sure if he actually took step into this place. I don't know. Maybe he does. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, we need strength. 16. I don't need arcane, though. Wait, does it scale? No, it's not going to scale arcane. Um... I would like a little bit of faith for Golden Bell. I need like the lowest amount of intelligence possible. Should I just go with the Prophet? Yeah, sure, why not? Actually... Now we'll go with the hero. Because it has a cooler armor set. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna call this guy Mesmo. Which one looks the most like him? This one. Clearly this one. Do you think Mesma would impale Moog Lester? Probably. Potentially. Bro probably wasn't even born then. He does seem pretty young. Ah, uh, Lou, what's going on, man? How are things? Okay, now where do I acquire this coil shield? Okay, where is my HUD? Um, the Volcano Cave, northeast of the Mount Gelmir site of Grace and Gelmir. Hmm. Now that question is, am I bothered to run all the way over there to acquire it? Uh, Owls, what's going on? I'm low I know the best boss of the DLC is going to be the old guy ripping his bones out or something. <laughs> the old guy ripping his bones out? Which one was that again? I'm a nerd emoji. What's going on? What's up, what's up? How are things? Okay, chat, do I run all the way to Mount Gilmer to acquire the shield? Or do I just use Cheat Engine? This is in fact the question. And does it require Smithing Stones or Somber Stones? Somber Stones. That's good. Mm -mm. Cheat, run, cheat. What's your ranking for the FromSoft tutorial bosses? My ranking for the FromSoft tutorial bosses. 
I mean, like, I need like three games of a tutorial boss, right? Like, and technically, half the tutorial bosses you kind of supposed to die to anyway. So, like, the only game that really has a tutorial boss would be like Dark Souls Three and Elden Ring, I guess. I don't think any other game has a tutorial boss. I mean, Dark Souls 1 does, I guess. Dark Souls 1 does have tutorial boss. But Demon Souls tutorial boss, I wouldn't really... I don't know, you're supposed to die to it, so like... If you're a near player, at least. I'm um, dropped a buff flask and talismans for the bloody hellas. Um, for the bloody hellas, you want to know talismans for it? Um, okay, so I'd probably go with Millicent Prosthesis. Obviously, go with the Lord of Blood Exaltation. I'd probably go with like the Dexterity tier, unless you're like going into a, like an arcane build and you want to use spells. Then you could use the Faith tier as well. Um, the Spear Talisman would be pretty good too. What's... is it Drake sized? What are we referring to? <laughs> Long journey ahead, yeah. Have you heard, Acer, Armored Core 6? Is that a tutorial boss? I think so, yeah. <sighs> what do you think about the Blight Greatsword? The Royal Greatsword? Um, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I'd probably put it like A tier. Like, it gets really good AR. The only things that I don't like about it is that it doesn't get frost outside of the weapon skill. So, like, you're rarely gonna proc frost with it. Um, and in terms of its weapon skill... There are things that I don't like about it. Like, it can be high damaging. But the thing is, half the damage is decided by if you hit with the weapon directly, and the other half is the AoE. But the thing is, trying to hit with the weapon directly can be pretty annoying. So there's, like, a very good chance that you just miss out on half the damage if you just, like, miss the first part of the weapon skill. And the whole weapon skill doesn't even do that much frost build up, too. And... You can get staggered out of the first part of the weapon skill to where the AoE just doesn't even come out at all. Because it doesn't get hyper armor. As soon as you land on the ground. I'm not gonna kill Bok. He does nothing for me. Rank the FromSoft titles by how mid they are. They're all trash. <laughs> Kidding. The Grace Club is Drake sized. There'll be more sleep weapons in the DLC. Um, yes, I think there would. Try Millennia parry only. We'll probably eventually do a parry only run. Like, the only reason why I haven't done a parry only run is because, like, a lot of bosses can't be parried. So I'd be, like, parrying, like, 30% of the bosses, and the rest, i just, like, fight them normally. Type of shit. Have you done a shield counter only run yet? I think I have. I think I have until I fought, like, the Fiery Giant. I was, like, wasn't bothered to do it. Because <laughs> I was, like, waiting for, like, a stomping attack, like, every 10 years. But I think I did do it for the rest. Did I? I don't know. I'm forgetting now. I feel like I did do it. I gotta go look it up on my VOD channel. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think I did do one, though. I haven't done Fist only, and I'm not gonna do one either. Someone needs to make a mod to shut him up every single time you walk past that bridge. Oi! You there! How many hours do I have? Um, probably 2700. Something like that. I need some new weapons in the DLC? Well, there's gonna be. <laughs> there's gonna be. 
And that was gonna be the best weapons as well. Because, like, typically every DLC has the best weapons. Probably, like, not the most powerful weapons, but definitely the most fun. Like, on average, the DLC weapons tend to be the most fun. And sometimes even the best, but... At least the most fun. Uh, Ali, what's going on? I hope you're doing well. A staff bunk run? I haven't done a staff bunk run. We haven't done a staff bunking run. Dark Souls 3 DLC weapons are ass. Dark Souls 3 DLC weapons are ass. Like Demon Scar, Frayed Blade, Gale's Greatsword, the Ringed Night Swords. What do you want about, bro? <laughs> what do you mean, bro? Um, Freyda's Great Scythe, Valor Heart. Um, the Onyx Blade. What are we talking about, bro? What are we talking about, bro? Frayed Blade is the only good one. You're gonna say the Ringed Knight Swords are not that good? <laughs> I did say that the DLC don't typically have the best weapons in terms of performance, but they definitely have the most fun. Um, very rarely do, does a DLC have the best weapon. I think like Dark Souls 2 and Bloodborne were the only games where the DLC had the best weapon. But in terms of like the most unique stuff, the coolest spells, the coolest looking armor sets, like, they save, like, their fantasy type of shit for all the- for the DLC. Onyx Blade in DS3 is a faith into weapon? Yes, it is. See, I don't doubt that the Elden Ring DLC will have the most fun stuff. Probably not necessarily, like, the best. I didn't- it's pretty hard to them- I mean, not that hard, I guess, but... I wouldn't be surprised if there's not a weapon that's better than, like, you know, the Blasphemous Blade, Darkman, Greatsword, and Mogwin, Sacred Spear, in terms of a performance. And I actually, I wouldn't be surprised either way. I wouldn't be surprised either way. But one thing that I'm willing to bet is that everybody's favorite weapons are probably going to be in the DLC. <laughs> I'm willing to bet that. Everyone's favorite boss is probably going to be in the DLC. Everyone's favorite, like, OST is probably going to be in the DLC. Everyone's favorite armor set. It's just always been like that. <laughs> the Kung Fu Fist Weapon thing? That's what I want to. Were you able to use your Bandai Namco points? My Bandai Namco points for, like, when I was buying the Collector's Edition? Yes, I was. I could use it at, like, the checkout. <sighs> the Bone Fist is in the DLC? I mean, like, the trailer looked like I had a Bone Fist, right? Your videos have been fantastic to binge recently? Nice. Thank you for watching my videos. <laughs> what if they put the Pizza Cut or Twin Blade? <laughs> That'd be cool. I have high hopes for a Gravity Great Spear that we saw. It better not be stuck with the Gravitas. Nah, I mean, <laughs> it shouldn't be. We'll be okay. <laughs> uh, um. Uh, what what type of videos have you been binging, as well? Like all of them, or like just like the weapon ones? Enjoying listening to the list while I'm at work. That's what's up. Hopefully, you learned something. Will you be using any spells for like this run, or like what you mean? I forgot about the white birch bow. <laughs> Elden Ring OST ever Bloodborne over DS3. Don't forget to smash the like button if you guys are against domestic violence. Um. No. <laughs> Maybe when the DLC comes out, I'll probably agree with that. But I think that um. Gale's OST and Ludwig's OST, those are just like too good. <laughs> Those are just too good to not be number one and two. Mm -mm, mm -mm. 
the weapon videos are the best in my opinion. Yeah, well, those are the ones that get the most views, so. Okay, chat. I haven't actually, like, started my next video. So I'll defer to you guys. Which ones would you want next? Um, I'm probably going to make a video where I go over the best weapon in Elden Ring by location. So, like, what's the best weapon that you can get in Limgrave? What's the best weapon that you can get in Kaelid? Someone had that idea. I forgot who it was, but someone said that in chat. And it was a pretty good idea. So, we either do that one. We either go over, like, the top 10 best early game weapons. Legacy so, like, best Dungeons weapons that you can get ranked. earlier in the game. Which, typically, I guess those things are basically the exact same thing now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing. Best weapon against Millennial. That's a good idea. Or would you like to see that? Top 5 weapons... The best weapons for Millennial. Best weapon in every DLC. That's another good idea. Would you like to see that one too? Best weapon in every DLC. That's a good one. Be a video where you talk about Dark Souls 3 the most. Never happens. Best weapon for every stage of the game? That one would be harder to make because, like, it's... Like, in most cases, like... The same weapon is going to be good throughout. There might be specific areas where, like, you'd probably want to have one in particular. And, like, the Blasphemous Blade is going to be good for, like, 90% of the game. Probably not in the Volcano Manor, though. <laughs> probably wouldn't take it through the Volcano Manor. So it wouldn't be, like, that interesting of a video. Um, I need to get my shield first. We can't come here out. Legacy Dungeons ranked? No. Wait, how many Legacy Dungeons are there? There's like five, right? I played with the new game plus four and I started a new run to get back into the... Uh, get back into it again before the DLC. Nice. Hopefully you're enjoying your time. It's probably the best way to play Elden Ring, is like just wait a bit, then get back into it. Pick like a brand new build you've never used and you probably have a really good time. Hardest boss in every game? I don't really like to talk about... Stuff like that, I don't know. Like talk about level design and bosses. They don't really interest me as much, and I kind of like struggle to find like, points as to why I like certain things when it comes to level design and bosses. Because it gets like very subjective, right? And I think like the most challenging bosses is kind of that as well. I don't really care much for like sub subjective videos. I probably will make one as it pertains to like the, um, the best first playthrough that I've had. That'd probably be like a subjective video that I make. So ranking all the games based on my first playthrough. <sighs> best full armor sets ranked. <laughs> I, mean, I did do a, a armor tier list for just Elden Ring. Why are Legacy Dungeons called Legacy Dungeons? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. My dumbass thought Legacy Dungeon meant they were in the old games. <laughs> I'm raw. What's going on, man? How to start a good speed run? And I'm not really much of a speed runner, so like, I probably will make a video on like the best way, or like the fastest way to get to the DLC, maybe. So, like, if you don't want to go through the DLC on your character and you want to make, like, a brand new character, like, from scratch, like, the best way to get, like, a character and go straight to the DLC in, like, a couple hours, maybe? I could probably make a video like that so I can, like, set someone up with, like, a plus 10 weapon, have them decently leveled. And obviously have Radan and Moog killed. Try and find strats to kill them pretty easily, too. <sighs> That'd be the video that'd probably make closer towards the release date of the DLC. What's your suggestion? I want the best melee weapon for Millennia. 
Um, the best melee weapon is probably just like Mogwin Sacred Spear. That one or Dovis' Greatsword is really good. There's plenty of good Ash of Wars for her, like Stormcaller. There's lots of good stuff. Obviously, Blasphemous Blade too. When the DLC starts here, you access it through Moog's boss arena. You have to interact with Mikola's corpse. Whatever it is. Ah, uh, Sky Guy, what's going on? I have zero idea what build to go with the DLC with. Um, what am I gonna go? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna go with. It's probably just gonna be like some random faith build. Either way, as soon as I find my first weapon that's different, I'm just gonna go switch to that. And any like different spell that I use, I'm just gonna start using that. So honestly, it doesn't really matter what we go through with. Just have like, just have like, you know, a bunch of materials prepared. Why am I talking to him? Have like a bunch of materials prepared. So we like, when you find your first fun weapon, just go ahead and use that. <laughs> Those are my thoughts. Why would killing Radan be necessary to enter the DLC? It might be something lore related, like the stars have to like not be stagnant or some shit. Um, or it might just be like a gameplay decision, like you just, they want you to at least kill this boss. Because they probably want you to at least like enter the Altus Plateau or some shit like that. Um, before you go to the DLC, I don't know, it's probably something to do or something. Who knows exactly. All we know is that you're gonna have to kill Redan too. Mm -hmm. Vagabond class probably going to be the best because it's the most versatile. I mean, I think the most versatile class is the wretch, right? <laughs> Just having 10 in every single stat is pretty versatile. Do that death's poker cheese and they can farm the dragon faster than bleed procs. I don't know about the death's poker cheese that can farm the dragon. Vagabond is better for min-maxing than the Wretch. I mean, for certain types of builds, right? I mean, the Wretch is never going to be the best for min-maxing, but... It's just, like, the best in terms of just, like, if you don't know what build you want to go with. Yeah, because the wretch is like never like min-maxing, you know? If you know what you want to go with, then you're going to pick something that's not the wretch. If you don't know what you want to go with, I recommend just going with the wretch. Because there's like a less chance that you have wasted stats. You know? Mm -mm. I mean, the Vagabond's always a good pick because like almost every build does require you to go into strength and dexterity. But there might be some builds that don't require to go into strength and dexterity, or don't require to have much strength. You know? It just is what it is. I beat Liza P a couple weeks ago, such a good game. Nice. It is a fantastic game, I agree. Rank the Souls likes? I'm not gonna rank the Souls likes because I've only played like three Souls likes, and I've only beaten like two, so. <laughs> I can't really like talk on the Souls like games. Look it up when I can. Okay. Mm -mm. Whenever I go for a melee spell hybrid, Vagabond saves me two to three levels compared to the other classes. Yeah, because it starts you off with like a bit of everything, right? Mm -mm. Rank the souls likes you haven't played based off vibes. <laughs> no. First build I'm using is level 90 golden order build. Hopefully that adds more faith into spells and weapons. I think they would. I mean, you'd hope they would. Level 90 though. I'll probably up that a little bit, honestly. Because they're going to have a different leveling system. You can afford to get pretty high. I think I go in with Dex because that's what my main character is. 
I don't think I'll bother with worrying about what weapon, since there's going to be loads of new weapons. Yeah. Hopefully there's a bunch of more um, lava tiers in the DLC to where you can respec. Hopefully there's an infinite amount of lava tiers, you know? I mean, for me it doesn't matter because, you know, cheat engine, but... <laughs> for most other people. Been experimenting with the Magma Blade and Scavenger's Curse Sword. Real fun. Nice. Both weapons are great. Your nose is longer than the bolt of Grand Sax. Is that confirmed? Is my nose a dexterity weapon? Or is it strength based? Or is it faith based? Can you fall off the ledge? Are you being, why are you being stupid for? Come this way. Camera. Thank you. Bro, what are you doing? Mm -mm. You can poke someone with my nose? Probably. Hello, horse. I feel like the DLC is going to be big. It's going to be like Elden Ring 2. I don't think so. I think at the most, it would be like a quarter of the game. At most, a quarter. I think realistically, we're looking at about like a fifth of the game. Or a sixth of the game. It might take us about like a quarter of the, like to play it. Because it's going to be very challenging, I guess. <laughs> we're end up dying a whole bunch. You always know the deals you happen? Nice. I'm um, gonna add, and it was Jason Mamamo singing about mobile internet. Cool. <laughs> Elden Ring takes 70 hours, and the DLC will supposedly take 30 hours of gameplay. Um, well, for me, Elden Ring base game took 100 hours. And I'm thinking the deals. I think the DLC would take about 30 hours. For a person that spent 100 hours in the game. On the first playthrough. I didn't bully the knight. He jumped off himself. No one said 30 hours? Yeah, I don't think I've What's heard anyone say 30 on? hours, yeah. Yui. Gang. I think the only thing that they said is that it's going to be Limgrave size. That's like the only thing Miyazaki said. That it's going to be the same size as Limgrave. Which I don't think that's going to be the case. I think it's going to be twice the size of Limgrave. Um, in my opinion. And I think it'll take about 30 hours because it's going to be pretty dense. Like they're not going to have 8 new weapon classes. And have like the area be small. Like, they're gonna add dozens, if not, like, over a hundred weapons. You can't just do that in a small area. You're gonna need a pretty big area. My first playthrough, I explored everything and it took forever. Yeah, same. Most big ER creators said 30 hours. That's obviously confirmed. But I think, I think 30 hours is also correct. But yeah, obviously it's not confirmed. Like... <laughs> no one from FromSoft said that, so... Can you smell the DLC? Yeah. I'm predicting it's gonna come out in June. DLC is $40 though. I mean, $40 for a 30 hour playthrough. Um, I think it's perfectly fine. Mm -mm. Ah, Ribbit, what's going on? How are things? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Like, if you're skeptical about the DLC and if it's actually worth $40, you could just wait. You could just wait. You don't have to buy it straight away. You could just look to see what it looks like, wait for reviews. And if you think it's worth the $40, then go ahead and buy it. I need to get a haircut. This is getting out of hand. Chat, should I go bold? 
Where am I going? This way. I'm buying a day one. Yeah. Ah, uh, W, what's going on, man? Okay, what am I doing? What is my purpose in life? We gotta go to Mount Gelmir. Don't shave off your luscious locks. I'm not gonna, it's fine. <laughs> One bit for hair shaving. A mohawk? Grow out a mullet? Imagine like going to the hairdresser and going to pick out like one of the hairstyles in the Dark Souls games. So you just like show him a picture of like a Dark Souls character. I want this shit. <laughs> oh fuck. It's like a picture of Kenneth Height. Good old bowl cut. I'm a guy my hair goes past my shoulders. Nice. I went bald once. Smooth head is funny. Does it feel good like against the wind having a bald head? Because like obviously I get like a, I get like a zero fade sometimes and like you know the back of my head it just feels nice when the wind hits it. I'm not a guy. My hair grows past my shoulders right now. Nice. Is your hair healthy? And now you're happy with it. Because that's all that matters. That would be a great video idea. <laughs> I mean, I actually did do a haircut tier list. Did I do a hairstyles tier list? I think I did a hairstyles tier list for Elden Ring. I'm pretty sure I did. I had like so much useless videos out there. I need to go back to making more useless stuff. I mean, to be fair, like all the videos that I make are kind of useless. But, um... Even more useless. How much damage does my nose do? Um, gets an S scaling in strength. Actually does striking damage as well. But it can be buffed. So I'll just paired along some status effects and then... Got a pretty good build going on. Going bold is very refreshing. Do you think we'll ever get a femboy firekeeper? <laughs> oh god. I, th I don't think the community is ready for that day. I don't think the community is ready for that day. Um... Oh no, he's hot! I think so. I think we will get one. I was trolling Sky. Actually growing my hair out from blonde, so it's a lot healthier than it was before. That's nice. Choose one demigod to rule them all. Choose one demigod. What do you mean? To rule what? Is the coil shield any good? Um, yes. The coil shield is good. Finally, someone asking a question about the actual run. Um... It does deadly poison, so therefore it's going to be good. And actually does it pretty quickly too. I think it does like... 100, I think? 100 poison build up per hit? Actually, let me look it up. Let me go look it up, shall we? Viper Bites. It does 12 stance damage. And the wiki doesn't actually tell me how much it does. Um, having the shield equip also gives you 40 immunity, which is more poison and rot resist. That's pretty cool. The wiki doesn't say. It looks like we've got to figure it out ourselves, okay? <laughs> looks like we've got to figure it out ourselves. Um, but yeah, funnily enough, the only way to actually proc deadly poison is with the weapon skill. Um, if you hit with the weapon directly, it actually does regular poison. So the skill is actually pretty good. It goes pretty far. It's like the longest animation as well. I think like the pre that the recent buff actually buffed the recovery frames. And I used it and I liked it before the buff as well, so. Now it's just even better. 
And my coworker told me he's really into femboys. Whatever makes him happy. I have longed to meet him here my whole life, then I went clean bold a few years ago and it felt so good. Nice. Does your nose inflect deadly boogers? I don't know. It doesn't. <laughs> A hairstyle run? Beat the game with every hair? What? Does 72? Even with the weapon score? I think it does it- I think it procs it pretty quickly. Cause like most bosses have like a few hundred and I noticed that it does it in like three or four hits. I don't know. I probably like load up cheat engine and look at resistances, I guess. I, I actually don't know if I can look up resistances on cheat engine. Maybe. We'll see. Once we acquire the... Once we acquire the weapon. <sighs> Why am I going here again? EG. We need to go buy some somber stones. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Fetishizes nose is confirmed. Well, that makes me feel validated. Are you good at this game? Um... Yes. I'm literally the best player when you think about it. I didn't remember the last time I actually died in this game. Never happens. Well, I presume. Give me a rot shield on the DLC. I still wish that Rod scaled off, like, Arcane, I'm not gonna lie. It probably would have been pretty powerful, but you know what, like... So is Bleed. <laughs> I die every 30 minutes? That also requires skill. That's pretty good. You must have a, he <laughs> a hella strong neck to support your nose. <laughs> Chat, try not to talk about my nose challenge impossible. If I get a nose job, what are you guys going to talk about? You guys are going to have to talk about the game. God forbid, right? That you guys actually talk about the game. He just doesn't know shit about the law? Yes. I don't know much about the law. All the, like, knowledge that I have is just, you know, of the builds and weapons, and it's all practical. Based on experiences. Okay, what's everyone's favorite weapon class? Let's actually start talking about the game. <laughs> Can I, get a I said shot. Oh, my bad. Hiya. Ah, Log, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. What's going on? Um, on my first playthrough of Elden Ring and I love katanas. Nice. Claws, great swords. I kind of want to do like a, um, a... I want to do a competition on my community page and see like what everyone's favorite weapon class is. It's probably going to be like great swords, ultra great swords, or like katanas, I'm thinking. Great swords, great swords, curved swords. Our noses are class yet. Stop talking about the noses. <laughs> Buddy, that was right in my ears. Sorry. <laughs> Colossal whips. <laughs> Power stands, great stars. For me personally, I'm probably like a hammer type of guy. I like to hammer things. Pause. Um, what sh a seal should I use for my first intense plant through? Um, okay, so your first playthrough, um, well, if you're gonna go with a faith build, then you go with the God Slayer seal, when you can use it, which is like 27 faith. So basically, use the finger seal until you can get the God Slayer seal, 
And then you use the God Slayer seal until 69 faith. Nice. And then you can go switch to the Erd Tree seal. Um, if you're going to go with an Arcane build. Because you want to use like an, a blade type weapon. Then you can also get amazing damage. And obviously you go with the Dragon Communion seal. But that's basically how it works. You can go check out my seal ranking video. My seal ranking video breaks it down. Actually a pretty good video. I'm proud of that one. A thrusting sword? That's actually based. Will you pass this knowledge down to your grandkids? Yeah. Whether they like it or not. Okay, young children. You're gonna learn about the Blasphemous Blade and the Dark Moon Greatsword today. God, you're handsome? True. Real based. Hammer is a chat answer. Look, hammers are just nice. Broken smell is going. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. How are you liking the new season Siege? The new season of Siege? Like Rainbow Six Siege? Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege? I've never played it in my entire life. I hope they added Gritty Emote. That'd be cool. Hopefully they added as part of a battle pass. I can't go here, so yeah, okay. Okay, chat, would you like From Software to make like an online game? Like whether it be like an MMO game? Maybe even a battle royale? Do you think From Software could do something like that? Or do you think they should just stick? Like, if, if they get big enough, they could probably have like a separate team that could make something like that. No, 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 yes. <laughs> Actually, like a good, I like good PvP too. I'm a big PvP fan. So probably like not Battle Royale, but I'm talking maybe like Final Fantasy 14, you know? Do you think they could do something like that? They could, but they shouldn't. Yeah, I probably agree. <laughs> I probably agree. It's a thought, though. <sighs> First Souls gamer to have offspring. <laughs> Online armored core would go so hard. An MMO Armored Core game actually would. That's true. Fuck. Armored Core is a fucking fantastic game. I love I love Armored Core. Even the PvP was really good too. There's a cheese you could do the Death Poker Bird um, where it falls off and killing the dragon faster than it procs bleed. I do it with new characters and I got from level 1 to 80. I must look this up. I must look it up. Thoughts on Liza P. I think it's a fantastic game. It's the best Souls-like game I've ever played. Fantastic game. I have like four or five playthroughs of it. Um, made plenty of videos on the game too. <clears throat> Ranked all like the weapons in that game. All the boss weapons and made top 10 lists and all build videos. Good stuff. I even did a level 1 run. I think I was the first person to do a level 1 run in that game. And if I wasn't the first, I was definitely the first to do it without using a perfection grindstone. Azithasasa. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I pronounced that perfectly. I uh, thank you for the follow. Did they ever fix the parry? The parry for what? They need actual real useful co-op. That would be cool. Anything multiplayer focused, I would eat it. Valid. Would you ever do a weapons ranking? Like, what do you mean? Like all weapons ranking? Thoughts on Liza of Yui? Look, I'm not gonna lie. They should have made me the protagonist for Liza P. I think my nose is like big enough to be like a Pinocchio type of guy. Bro is built like Phineas. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I got stuck on Simon Manus. I couldn't beat him. 
I'm not a fan of Simon Manus as a boss, but I have like mixed feelings about him. He's okay though. Can you survive a 16 hour session with a goth girl? Yes. I don't have like a particular weakness when it comes to like, you know, women, I guess. I don't have like a particular type, so like... I think I could survive any situation. I say that, and then I probably wouldn't. Can we rank my TikToks? You can go ahead and rank the TikToks, yeah. Bro's type is men. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Mm -mm, Sekiro is amazing. I agree. Why am I here? Oh my god, why am I here? Why am I here? This is not good. I have 40k souls. And now I'm gonna die. And I can't ride my horsey horse. Why am I here? Where am I going? Chat, what am I doing? I'm going to the volcano cave. Where is that again? Is that up this, up this ladder? If I go up here, will he despawn? Let's find out, shall we? Sekiro is my favorite. Just sniff him to death. Tell me you're the expert? True. I think people focus more on FromSoft multiplayer limitations in their past current games instead of looking at their vision for how unique certain aspects are and how amazing it would be. I think that could do pretty well. You eat Dementor out going hard right now? What? <laughs> I'll link it in the Discord. <clears throat> Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I uh, we did a four week session with a six foot five goth girl. Huh? Bro is built like Gru. No? Anyway, okay. Pick these up. Golden Rune 2s and 3s, really? At this point of the game, you're gonna give me this? Okay, let's look up where I'm supposed to go exactly to get this weapon. I could have just used Cheat Engine, but you guys are like, no, get it legit. Um, it's in the Volcano Cave. Which one's the Volcano Cave? Where is that? Northeast of the 9th Mount Gummer campsite? Bro, what? Is that the one with like the demi human boss? Or is that the one with the um the dog boss? I forget. <sighs> it's the demi-human cave? Okay, cool. Cause like the map was confusing me cause I- <laughs> I know based on like area, I don't really like know based on like the map location, so I'm not gonna lie. You wish chat is way too horny? It used to be way worse. My chat used to be like chronically horny and then we kind of got that fixed. Where the jar cannon is, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Can we know now? Everything's fine. Even Nintendo put the multiplayer mechanic in the latest 2D Mario game, where you see phantoms of players exploring the area you are. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. You just gotta pick it up and you gotta fight a boss? Yeah, I know. Oh. I know. Does anybody even like this area? Like, I don't like having to climb up a bunch of ladders and stuff. You sell nothing useful. It's like, maybe I could buy... I don't know. But do 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 I'll see you, Gord. It's terrible. You had chat group therapy, now it's all good. 
You missed the Mikula's Lily? Lily? I don't need it, it's fine. Finka, you better get timed out. Say something stupid one more time. Um, it's over there, right? Um, should I go hit up the Grace over here first? I probably will. Ladders are great. Opinions on the Aquamarine Dagger in Dark Souls 3. I think it's really fun. <laughs> but, like, it's not that powerful. Because <clears throat> at the end of the day, it's still like a dagger. And I think other daggers can, like, output more damage. Hmm. <clears throat> But it's still pretty decent, though. Like, the weapon skill, like, it doesn't consume any FP. Um. But it does, like, add a bit more range, and, like, it does get, like, a cool poking attack, and you can, like, combo them back and forth, which is nice. I did do an entire playthrough using the Akka Marine Dagger. Or just using the weapon skill. And... I remember it being fun and decent, but, like, not amazing. That was like a while ago though. Um, okay, what I level up? Going to 15 faith. Um, how much FP does the coil shield use? 8 FP! That's nothing! Nice. Going to 20 vigor. This might be like a suicide run, so I might as well just go level up everything. Okay, now let's try and find out exactly where this shield is. The large open room from there, take the rightmost tunnel and follow it to the end. Drop down to the small cliff below, turn around and go into the tunnel. A shield will be on a body in the room ahead. Those are the worst directions of all time. Okay, go right, left, and then go through this place and then go drop down. And then once you go drop down, then you turn around and there should be something there. If I get this first try, a leaf, huge. Nice, cool. <laughs> actually, wasn't expecting to actually like. It actually worked. Wait, hold up, move, move. Wait, wait. Let me through. Hold on a second. I need to get through. I I, I gotta get to the other side. <sighs> Fucking monkeys. What do you think is the most lazy boss in this game? <clears throat> um, probably the, um, Erdtree Avatar, because it's basically the exact same thing from, like, you know, the Dark Souls games, um, but just even less complicated than the Dark Souls 3 version, like... <laughs> it's just like the Asylum Demon, like, all over again. Okay, where am I going? I don't know, let's go teleport somewhere. <laughs> Make another poll of your favorite FromSoft game, it's so toxic. Another poll of my favorite FromSoft game? When did I make a poll of my favorite FromSoft game? Oh, like the community poll for people to vote the favorite one? I'm not gonna make another one. <clears throat> favorite reskin boss? Oh, I actually did a tier list of my of my uh, favorite reskin bosses, didn't I? I did a reskin bosses tier list. I don't know which one I like the most. Um, I'll probably like a guy Crucible Knight, I guess. Crucible Knight or like the Leonin Misbegotten. I think those are my favorite ones. I mean, if you technically want to include Morgoth and Godfrey, then I guess those two. <laughs> okay, let's go level this bad boy. We finally have our shield. <laughs> we finally have it. And I need one more point in dexterity. <laughs> That's fine. I was just gonna put it in my right hand and then just two-handed. Because that's gonna be more damage. Finally! Oh! Do you know what I forgot to do, chat? I forgot to kill Alexander and I already went to the Altus Plateau. Do you know what that means?
That means he is no longer with us. Are play Rise of the Ronin? I'm not going to play Rise of Ronin. The Team Ninja games don't really interest me much, and I heard mixed things about it. I heard that it was like, it was cool to play for like, um, people that have problems with like, the Souls-like games, because it has like, difficulty modifiers. And I've heard other people say that it's like a discounted version of Neo, and like, the open world is pretty lazy. Why am I here? I need to get a seal. Um... See, I've heard like, different things. I don't, know, I don't really care to play the Team Ninja games. Because I'm only going to play games if I'm going to make content on them. That's, I don't know. That's just me now. I need 800, not 400, you buffoon. Why would you kill Alexander? Because he gives me a good talisman. From Software shouldn't have gave him a good talisman. That's their fault, not mine. I need to get Flame Grant me Strength also. It's fine. Let's just go kill a boss. We've been, like, fucking around way too long. I'm done doing prep. Let's just go kill a boss. I don't know if this is a hot take, but Wulong is better than Lords of the Fallen. I mean, I think... I don't know. I don't think that's a hot take. I, I haven't played it, but... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Um, Asmin just rage logged off Twitch because of his horrible skill issue in Dragon's Dogma. He's just like me, for real. <laughs> what spells should I use in Dark Souls 3? Um, I think miracles are like the most fun and coolest, I guess. But like, they're only gonna be good once you get like halfway through the game. Flasks! Have I played Sifu? I have not played Sifu. I'm under, it's gone, man. What I put on? There's like nothing I can really benefit. That's fine. We'll be okay. And you get the ritual store talisman. You made a tier list about the skyboxes. That I did. That I did. Yui hates potheads. I do. Dragon's Dogma got a refund for me. Look, it procced poison in one hit. Oh my goodness me. That has to be doing hundreds of poison but And it's deadly poison too. That's some good stuff. Would you look at that? Okay, we gotta get the... Kindred of Rot Exaltation. We gotta get the Mushroom Crown. Oh, do you get the Mushroom Crown in the Lake of Rot, don't you? Oh, I have to go pay a trip to the Lake of Rot. Ew. He's just standing there. Where was Fortisac Skybox? Obviously S tier. Obviously S tier. If you get caught with a gram of weed in Australia, you get like life in prison. <laughs> you most certainly did not get life in prison. <laughs> Nothing of the sort. Nothing of the sort. Is that a GG? That's a GG. I wonder if like... The weapon probably does strike damage with its... Attack, right? Because like it's a shield, so it's gonna do striking damage. Wait, does... I don't know, does the wiki say? The wiki just says physical damage. It probably is strike damage. Although it would make sense if it did like piercing damage, but it doesn't say it. It's probably just still gonna do striking damage. Although well, piercing damage would be kind of cool. Yui the Impaler? Yes. Um, strength. Damage. We're going to a bit of mind. Come to the Midwest. I have been to the Midwest. I went to St. Louis. I went there for like two weeks. 
Is St. Louis like Midwest, Missouri? A top 10 UE top 10 videos? You live in St. Louis? Nice. I went there for a baseball tournament. Why was I late today? Because I woke up late. And yes, I played baseball. I was good at it. Can I not get hit by arrows, please? Marijuana strain tier list? <laughs> sure. I live in Iowa and it's the worst. Cornfields as far as the eye could see. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd leave Sydney. I like Sydney, it's pretty cool. I like living here. A slur tier list. They're all my favorite. Even the ones against my race. You seem like you would play shortstop. No. I played centerfield. I played centerfield. I mean, I played like a lot of positions growing up as a kid. But I ended my career at center. I had a big boy arm. When I was like 12 to 14, I played like infield though. What time is it? For me, it is 11.40 a.m. What time is it for you guys? Who's my favorite baseball player? I don't watch baseball. I watch like all other American sports. <laughs> I don't watch baseball though, even though that's the one I played the most. I don't like watching baseball. Favorite character in Elden Ring? Um, Gold Mask. He's the best. Okay, so what am I doing now? Should I go get the ritual seal? Uh, get the ritual sword talisman. I need to get talismans. Actually, no, we might kill Radon. Uh, we could go with Godric first and then Radon. Because I gotta kill Alexander. He's been alive way too long. I forgot to kill him earlier in the playthrough. Go jump up the rock. Gideon for the win. <laughs> I'm King Wizard. Thank you for the follow, man. 840 740 One damn Just goes to show that people live in different places <laughs> Who would have thought Look at procs poison in one hit It's actually insane you could literally just use this with like any build and you could just, like, instantly proc it, and then just switch off it. You don't need, like... <laughs> and you can pair it alongside the Mushroom Crown, Kindred of Exaltation, and you're just getting, like, 30% more damage. Just straight away. It's actually silly. I thought you liked the Dung Eater. Can you stop with the spam? <laughs> Saying useful stuff. You should be like the gold mask and stop yapping. No. The shield does put slap, the fungus yes. Helmet on. I can't put the mushroom crown on right now because you get that in the uh, get that in the lake of rot. I can go get the kindred of rock exaltation. Talisman? But that's not the kindred of rock enemies, and I don't like those guys. I wanna get a plus six weapon first. Um, okay. Let's go kill the... Okay. Okay, let's go get a Sombra 5 and a 6. But we'll go get a Sombra 5 and a 6 off the Salia Town area. So we'll go kill the Falling Star Beast. I could just go straight to the Volcano Manor and do it, but I think this way will be more fun. 
Ah, Chef, what's going on, man? I painted another scavenger's curve sword. Um, it's amazing. Power stance scavenger's curve sword makes for like one of the best new game plus builds of all time. I've never seen the coil shield be used before. It's pretty good. I actually have some builds with the coil shield that I've made. I forgot what videos. It definitely will be like my poison build videos that I made. But I've included it in some builds. Typically the way that I use the coil shield was be like the way that I just explained. That you just use it at the beginning of the fight. Proc the buffs. Of the exaltation talisman and the mushroom crown. And then you switch back to your damaging based things. And then just melt shit that way. I did it, I paired it alongside the Marius Executioner Sword, and then that could just have even more damage alongside with that weapon. Basically, which, yeah. Makes it pretty good. Oh my god. Stupid... Enemies. Have you ever got into New Game Plus 7? I don't really typically play New Game Plus. So, no. One thing I actually would like to do would be like a level 1 new game plus 7 run. With like a dagger. Naked. <laughs> Just to really hate my life, you know? Um, what should I combine faith with? Strength or dex? I want to use incantations and melee. Well, it depends on what weapon you want to use. Like, typically, there's more strength faith weapons out there than dex faith weapons. So I think strength is probably your better option. Because, you know, things like Blasphemous Blade, Envoy's Longhorn, um, Silurius Tree. Hello, YouTube chat. Mm -mm. Yeah, that. Those stuff. There's more, like, faith strength weapons out there, so... I'd probably just go faith strength. I should have picked up the Flame Grammy strength, but it should be fine. I think I can actually poison this guy. I'm pretty sure the cow can be poisoned. Um, Coil Shield is interesting, but not something I would actually feel like trying. A lot of stuff is just not viable on a normal run, till end game or new game plus. Proct poison and two hits. And it's for only like how much FP? It's like 8 FP or some shit? It's pretty cheap. Yeah, 8 FP. Not too bad. Best weapon with Stormcaller from Millennia? Probably the Great Stars. Mainly use the Bloody Hellas two handed. Should I invest more into Dexterity or Arcane? Um, I think Dexterity gets you. Why wasn't I locked on? I think Dexterity gets you more damage. But Arcane will obviously get you more blood loss put up, so. It's up to you. If you want to use spells, then I recommend going into more arcane because you can use the dragon communion seal. How does this thing even get poisoned? It's just rock? I don't know. Go talk to Michael Zaki. He makes the rules, not me. I'm um, top five spears. Uh, I didn't... This is why I don't lock on. At least he's still taking damage. <laughs> Top 5 spears, um... Probably Cross Naginata, the Death Ritual Spear, Bolted Grand Sax, um, the Pike, um... Probably forgetting something. But the list looks something like that. Is it hard to get meth in Australia? Um... I'd think so, but the people that you see around places sometimes... Probably not. <laughs> probably not. Oh, Clayman's Harpoon. Yeah, that one. There's your top five. Shields have some uses, though. Blood Infused Great Shields with Shield Crash is good against Nial and the Bell Bearing. Okay, can you die now? Spike Spear? I mean, the Spike Spear is only used to be power stanced with the um, Cross Naginata, honestly. <laughs> and so you can get a second one. 
I mean, the Spike Spear is still good because it is like the... I think it's the only speed that gets striking damage. And it gets the Partisan moveset, so I guess it's not that useless. And it's a Spear, so... Are there snakes in Australia's toilets? Maybe. Not that I've seen. Bro's weapon is Australian. Already can't, so got a fucking coil shield here. I reckon it's gonna be pretty good. Does some nice poison. Whack this bad boy in a kangaroo, knock it straight out. Incantation is stronger than last longer, but need more... What's this for? What's the difference between Gold of Our, Ash of War, and Incantation? Oh, okay, that's the question. Um, yeah, the Gold of Our, Ash of War doesn't last as long. I think the spell lasts 90 seconds, the Ash of War lasts 45 seconds, and the spell gives you like 15% damage and like 10% damage negation, I think it is, or like 11 and a half, I forget what it is exactly. Um, and the Ashwood just gives you like a little bit less. I think it's like 15-10 for the spell, and I think it's like 12-8 or some shit. I gotta look it up now. Now I forget. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Um, yeah, so it's 15-10, so 15% damage, and then 10% damage negation for the spell, and it lasts 80 seconds. And then the Ash of War is 45 seconds, 11.5 damage, and 7.5 damage negation. There you go. So the spell is obviously going to be better. But obviously the spell has a 25 faith requirement, so the Ash of War doesn't have any requirements. I think they both consume the same amount of FP as well. Anyway, we have a somber 5 and a 6. Let's go get this bad boy to plus 6. And go kill Godric. Decent for an occult build as the Naginata has higher strength and dexterity requirements. That is true. That is true. Good point. Have you seen Kangaroo Jack? Yes. I actually just saw it like last week as well. For like the first time in a long time. It was like on upstairs. Like my sisters was watching it. It's like, let's go sit down and watch this. Um, okay. So it's plus six. Should I get the Kindred of Exaltation Talisman now? Let's just go kill Godric first, actually. I thought you would stream Dragon's Dogma. I was going to. And then I decided against it. Because I was really thinking about it. I'm like, it's not going to be something that I can really make content on. And it's probably not even going to be something that I really enjoy that much as well. So I was like, I'm just going to just, you know. Stick to the stuff that I'm used to. <laughs> I'm gonna miss these nose jokes before you get too popular. I think if I get popular, I think the nose jokes will just get even more annoying, right? The clean rod spear goes to surprisingly hard too. It does nice. It does nice. I wish like the spears like came out straight away. Like that delayed effect can be kind of annoying. And the fact that you can't make it go like long ways too can be kind of cringe. Old words for a man they bought Lords of the Fallen twice. <laughs> I thought Lords of the Fallen was going to pop off, but like, obviously, I still made content on that game, and I made my money back. <laughs> but I had that, I had serious FOMO. I'm like, I need to buy it day one. Because I thought, like, Lords of the Fallen had the potential to be, like, better than Liza P. Well, it did, and then it, it kind of didn't, so. Because my Liza P content got, like, really good viewership, and I'm like, I can't miss out on the fact if Lords of the Fallen viewership is just as good. It wasn't as just as good, but it was still decent enough. I had made like a few videos on Lost the Fallen and they all like averaged around like 70k viewers, so it was pretty good. Ever since Yui convinced me to use Flame Gummy Strength and Golden Bell, can't go back, the power is too great. Yeah, there's like no reason not to use them. Lost of the Fallen is way too easy. Yeah, the bosses weren't that challenging, and then they heard the fact that the bosses weren't that challenging, and what they decided to do was just give them more health and make them do more damage. It's like, no, 
they're not challenging in the aspect that they have pretty basic movesets. Like, don't give them more health. Easy game. You can use a Faith Crystal Tear to get a plus 10 to cast Golden Belt only at 15 Faith. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. But the thing is, like, that takes up a Faith Tear slot. Like, if you're using a build that, like, has a spare Crystal Tear slot to where you're not going to really be using anything else, then you could go ahead and do that. But for the most part, I wouldn't bother. Like, if you're going with, like, a Charged Heavy Attack build, um, or if you're using, like, Elemental Damage, then you're not going to really have space for another Crystal Tear slot. Whereas, like, for a run like this, I'm not going to really benefit of any other Crystal Tier. So I could just put on the Faith Tier, then get plus 10 to Faith. I mean, technically, you can cast it at only 10 Faith, because you can put on the Two Finger Alim as well. Which I do do that sometimes, but it gets pretty annoying having to constantly switch back and forth. With your Talismans and stuff. Um, let's go get to the Kindred Odd Rot Exaltation. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Lords of the Fallen was a lesson in waiting for the game to cook more. Look, I kind of... Look, they definitely improved upon the first Lords of the Fallen. From what I've seen about the first one, I haven't actually played it. But, um... Hopefully they don't get discouraged to, like, not make any more Souls games. They could still make another Souls game. They just gotta, like, you know... Probably go a bit more on, like, level design. They could probably make the game shorter, honestly. Like, the game doesn't have to be that long. It wasn't that long of a playthrough anyway, but... They could just focus on it... Instead of having, like, a gimmick of, like, the whole interconnected world thingy, whatever it is. Like, the Umbral world mixing in with the real world. If they just remove, like, that type of gimmick, they could have, like, focused more on having, like, more nuanced bosses. Designing more enemies. Probably having better level design. It wasn't a net zero, okay? <laughs> Cause like, although the Umbral World was like the most unique thing about the game, it was probably the thing that made it the worst as well. It probably fucked up the game. Because like, the Umbral World is probably the reason why the performance was so bad. And it was also part of the reason why like, there was like so much ganks like, all over the place. There was like constant enemy ganks, like the enemy density was like a massive problem. Because like all the enemies in the real world carried over to the Umbra world. It was like... Not cool, not cool. Should I make my Iron Greatswords Lightning or just stick with buffing them? I think you should stick with buffing them. Like the good thing about the Iron Greatsword is that it gets really good scalings. With Fire and Lightning Infusions, I would never really recommend them because they just make them have bad scalings. And then it gets split damage and it's not even that high a damage as well. So, yeah. I hated that about the game. It has a bunch of damage sponges. Mm -mm. But, like, somehow, unironically, my... The playthrough that I enjoyed the most was my level 1 run. And Lords of the Fallen. I think I was about the only person to actually do, a, like, a level 1 run in that game. God damn it. <laughs> Weapons have the same moveset? Yeah. There's like how many weapons in that game? And like half the weapons has had the same moveset. Even like those like those two power stancing movesets. There was like a moveset for like the small weapons and there was like a moveset for like larger weapons. That was it. <laughs> it's like really? These are all the movesets you have? Where am I going? It must be this way. Mm -mm. What weapon do you recommend for lightning slash? Um. Um. I probably like a this a weapon with a good dexterity scaling because have it keen infused, I guess. Just improve the damage a bit more. 
Oh, this is not good. And then, oh, okay, at least it's a stake America. I wonder where the stake America spawns in. Like, this is so not good. <laughs> I hate fighting these guys. Wait, you can proc poison on these guys? Okay, it might be okay. Might be okay. I just boosted his damage too, though. Just die to poison, please. Thank you. The other guy was being patient. He was waiting. How good is int strength or int dex? I mean, typically there's more int dexterity weapons compared to int strength weapons, but they can obviously still be pretty good. Because, like, a lot of the int strength based weapons tend to be, like, the gravity based ones, of which they'll scale, like, just much better of strength compared to intelligence. Like, the only, like, real int strength weapon out there is probably, like, the Royal Greatsword that scales, like, equally of both. Stop spamming! Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna spam. No! No! Why did it miss? Why did it miss? Ah, that's okay. Oh, bro. Int strength has some amazing this options. Like what? Stinks! Am I missing something? A lot of like intelligence weapons tend to be like pure intelligence, right? Okay, now we can fight them without being poisoned. That's good. I don't know why I don't. Why do I have three FP flasks? I still haven't picked up Golden Bell. I'm Flame Gummy Strength. Ugh. Nice. Not nice. That was way too much damage. Oh. Roll, roll, roll. Oh. Okay. Just get hit by this. Oh. Please. Stop with the projectiles. Only I'm allowed to use them. Nice. Cool. Oh, what? Nice. Stay still. Can I stop? Stop hitting me! Why is he like this? These guys are so annoying. Dodge! Nice. God, that was annoying. Wrecked by the nut? Yeah. <sighs> cool. Well, we have this. That's fantastic. That's more damage. Okay, let's go kill Radon. Let's go kill Radon. Because I need to go kill Alexander. He's like waiting for me there. He must die. I'm um, LA. What's going on, man? Dex Faith needs more love. Yeah. I'm um, going to a bit of bigger, I guess. I don't know. Star Caller, Great Sword, or the Star Scourge, Alabasters, Meteoric. But yeah, that's what, that's what I was talking about. Like the the gravity based weapons, they scale much better off strength than they do with intelligence. Like the Star Scourge, Great Sword, you're just best going all into strength. Alabasters, Great Sword, you're just best going all into strength because like those weapon skills actually scale off AR. So it's hardly like an in. It's it's kind of similar to like the All Davis's Great Sword situation. To where, like, it doesn't really scale that well of faith. It is better going all into strength. So you, like, just meet the minimum requirements and just go into strength. Mm -mm. Now you know how he sucks, Phil. <laughs> Viper Pied is good. Yeah, it is. Viper Pied has been really good. Health and Steeple is kind of just all into intelligence, right? It gets like a B scaling. It's like a D, B scaling, I think it is. It's similar to like the Dark Moon Greatsword. You just go like all into intelligence. How did that fail? Oh yeah, Ruin's Greatsword too, yeah. 88% strength. I go 60-40 to use some spells. Yeah, it still does scale with it. So if you do one of your spells, then... Yeah. But it's not like it has, like... Faith strength options, you know? 
how it's like kind of split even in both, like the Blasphemous Blade kind of. How you can just afford to go into more faith and not have to like sacrifice the damage from strength. Same as like Silurius Tree. Oh, and Malekith, it's true. Malekith's Black Blade is good. It's not like... Like I did a playthrough with it, like only using the weapon skill. And the weapon skill felt more situational than anything. Like in regular new game, it was like... Wasn't that great, but obviously it's like a new game plus weapon when enemies just have more health. To where like the damage over time effect can really come in clutch. I keep forgetting to get Flame Gummy Strength. Ugh. And I kind of wanted to go... Okay, we've got to go grab... The Gold Scarab Talisman. Proc Poison. Yeah. It is Proc's Poison and two hits like every boss. Some even like one. The damage is not that amazing though. It's okay. Not doing too bad. Oh my god, I hate when you do that attack when I'm at the distance. So annoying. Okay, let me proc poison again before you go. Nice. Thank you. This is Golden Bell again. Why not? Imagine teaching yourself to hold back gravity so you can keep Get hit by that on purpose so I can get legs. sucked in so I can punish the attack. That's the strat. Am I gonna get killed here? No, we're good. That's the strat. Oh, he's too far away! <laughs> Come back! Why do you do this? Dodge! Dodge! Horsey! Dismounts! No! Die! Thank you. GG! Oh god! Not the worst damage? Yeah, it's, it's okay, but for a plus six, you expect it to do a bit more. But it's only gonna get a descaling and strength, right? It only gets a descaling and strength at plus ten, so it's like... The damage isn't gonna be that great. It doesn't even get a dexterity scaling, you think it would. You think it would. I'm Zeta, what's going on? All the deadly poison stuff comes from a snake-themed weapons? That is true. That is true. Alexander, my guy! Oh, I've missed this guy so much. He's been alive way too long. Way too long. What are all the weapons with the innate deadly poison build up? It's the Venomous Fang, the Serpent Bone Blade, and this one. Finally! Oh my goodness. I completely forgot about killing him. We now got his talisman. Good. 10% more damage. Hell yeah. Um... Cool, we gotta go speak to the finger people. I'm not in the correct position. Wait. There we go. Talisman pouch. Nice. Okay. Warriors jaw shot. Okay, we're good. looking good now. I wish it did if it did piercing damage, I could pair it alongside the spear talisman, but it doesn't. It's kind of unfortunate. What should be my last talisman slot? Chat. 
What should be my last talisman slot? Okay, now let's go grab... Oh. I need to go to the abandoned cave. Oh, we've got to get flame gummy strength. We'll go do that and then go to the abandoned cave. I need to get the, um... The gold scarab talisman. I don't really need carrying Philly Good Crest. It only consumes 8 FP. It'll take it from like 8 to 7. So I don't really need that. I don't know. A sacrificial twig? <laughs> Where do you get the coil shield? Do you get the coil shield in the volcano cave in Mount Gelmir? I got that from like 30 minutes ago. You can go scroll back and see where I got it. Data cars woe? No. Do you know the Elden Ring map better than Sydney? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yes, I do. I can't really go anywhere without a GPS, but... All the Souls games? Know them like the back of my hand. The name Bloodborne goes much harder than Armored Core. Bloodborne sounds like a disease, okay? It does sound cool, but Armored Core, come on now. When the core got armored? Come on now. Seathwater? No, the Seathwater cave, that's where you get the Kindred of Exaltation. You need the Volcano Cave in Mount Gelmir. It's like on the other side of Mount Gelmir. Like on the way to where if you run towards the Falling Star Beast, kind of there. But on the other side of the bridge. I don't know where my last talisman slot's gonna be. It'll probably just be like damage negation, I guess. We'll see. We'll see. Could just pick up like a ritual shield talisman, because why not? I've killed Margit, yeah. Working to get this, then we'll go to the get the gold scarab talisman and we gotta go work on getting to the Lake of Rot. What's like the fastest way to the Lake of Rot? I mean, I have the underground unlocked. But the, I have to go kill... The Valiant Gargoyles. <laughs> Which I'm not doing that with this build. Have you done a Cranial Vessel Candlestick run? Yes, I have. The Cranial Vessel Candlestick actually does really good damage, like really good damage. And like it's a great hammer that has amazing range, really good scalings. My only problem with the Cranial Vessel Candlestick uh, weapon skill is that the recovery frames are like way too long. Every single time that you use it, you're just gonna get hit. It happens every time. But it does amazing damage though. Gotta go do Rani first. Going straight to the deeper depths will take you there, won't it? Straight to the deeper depths. But you get to the deeper depths by killing the Valiant Gargoyles or um going to kill Sura mode, correct? Is this all remembrance? Um, no, no. We're still like all great rune bosses, not all remembrance bosses. I'm like never bothered to go kill Fortisax. It's like too much out of the way. I don't have much endurance, do I? Mm. Now all you need to do is ac have access to Noxtella. As soon as you get access to Noxtella, then you can go... Which you can get access to Noxtella via Rania's questline or by going through the deeper depths or Nock Run. Which I think I might as well do, go do Rania's questline, right?
Oh, I'm forgetting. Um, okay. Jump. Wait, to go access the teleporter that takes you to Nox Stella, that would take you to the Lake of Rod as well, right? The teleporter next to Rani? I forgot to put on Flame Grammy Strength. God damn it. How's my day? My day's been going well. Um, so to get access to that area, do you need to go grab the thing at the Divine Tower? Or do you just have to go get... Um, the Finger Slayer Blade. Just the Finger Slayer Blade? Just kill Radon? Okay, cool. So probably go kill the Mimic tier now, then go kill Loretto. Should I work on getting like a somber 7, 8, and a 9? Or no? That's all later, it's fine. We'll be okay. No carrying study hall? Yeah, cool. Well, that's good. Mesma? Yeah, Mesma. You know the snake guy in the DLC? We're naming it the Mesma run because, you know, we're using snakes. I remember, like, plenty of people, like, missed this area on the first playthrough because they actually didn't add something on the map to tell you to go here. They actually added that in, like, later. Where am I going? It's hard to see when it's nighttime. <laughs> We're not gonna go kill the gargoyles. We're just gonna go grab... We're just gonna get the Finger Slayer Blade. I'm not gonna be able to kill the gargoyles with this thing. Like, this is not gonna work out. Because, like, obviously they're immune to poison, and that's where my damage is going to be coming from. So, we're not going to bother. I think the Divine Tower is only if you want to fight Fortisax. Okay. Cool. Valiant Gargoyle Cheese. What's the cheese for the Valiant Gargoyles? Wait, is it like a, um... A quitting out cheese to where, like, they can reset their AI? Or freeze their AI? A Deathblight version of Catch Flame? <laughs> Wait, what? Anyway, tomorrow we're gonna start the Guts' Greatsword Marathon. So play some um, Dark Souls 1 tomorrow. Because there's no Guts' Greatsword in Demon Souls. Mm -mm. Make them jump off the ledge? Wait, you can actually ledge kill the gargoyles? It's very RNG heavy, you have to make them jump off the ledge. Okay. Stormblade works great on the gargoyles. Melee doesn't do too great on them, even with a strike weapon. Yeah, gargoyles are like super cringe to fight against. They just move around a whole bunch and they have skinny ass legs. I keep forgetting to put on flame gummy strength. Someone like reminds me after this. What's the most challenge that you've enjoyed. I want to try it. A challenge run that I've enjoyed? I mean, like, typically, like, randomizer runs are, like, the most fun. I did, like, a use-what-you-see randomizer run where, like, any single 
item that I saw. I had to pick it up and equip it, and that was pretty cool. How did that miss? Now mine's better. Easy game. It didn't even heal. What a stupid mimic. That guy has a terrible build. What an idiot. Mm -mm. Um, okay, um, fun challenge run. Another fun challenge run. I mean, like, typically some, like, Ash of War only runs can be pretty cool. Or, like, using a particular spell type. You can just do a challenge run doing something like that. So, like, whatever, like, your favorite spell type is, just try and do a playthrough where you can only allow to be doing damage using those things. Like, those are just fun. Don't know the specifics, but you use Kukri's and such. Okay. How's the run so far? It's doing well. The Coil Shield is putting in some nice work. Against enemies that can be poisoned, it's going to be really good. It's very cheap, 8 FP. Doesn't, you know, have that long of an animation. Goes relatively far. It does stagger, like, smaller enemies, too. And, like, the poison build-up is kind of insane. Procs poison, like, in one hit against, like, most enemies. Even some bosses. Uh, which souls do you recommend buying first? Um, my first one was, wait. My first one was Liza P. And I want to buy a second one. What do you recommend? Like a Souls like, like not including the FromSoft games, or because I haven't played many Souls likes. Ball. Can you poison a ball? I can actually stagger the ball. Nice. This guy has high poison resist. The poison buildup is actually amazing. I don't know what the exact number is. I gotta go, like... Um, test it out. But it does a lot. <laughs> a lot of enemies... Get procced in, like, at, at least... At the most, like, two. Two hits. Like, Radan got procced in two hits. Margaret literally got procced with poison in one hit. So it's really good. I have like some builds with the Coil Shield. Where like I just used it to just proc Deadly Poison and to the proc the buffs that I have. And paired alongside like a very hard hitting build. I forget where I talked about it. I think I had it in like my top 5. Oh I have to speak to Rani first. Oh I forget. Oh she's the worst. Okay um. I hit up the grace so we can come What's back. It's going fine. On, Yui gang? <laughs> I hit up the grace. The white mask flower only run. The what? Including souls like and from software? I mean, if you haven't played any of the from software games, I recommend just like starting at the beginning. Because like if you start off with like the newer games and going back, you might just not like them that much because the quality of life isn't that good and can tend to be a bit more clunky. So um, I don't know if you have like a PS5, then probably grab Demon Souls. Honestly, whatever's the cheapest one, <laughs> just go by that one. Whatever's cheapest. I did equip Flame Grammy Strength. Yes. God, okay. Here's a video of the cliff. The cliff? Here's a video of the cliff. I love opening Google Chrome every single time that I'm in Leona the Lakes and having my entire PC just lag. It's great. Jeez. <laughs> I 
tornado flew around my room before you came? What? What do you major in? Souls games? That's my major? I finished Annie's lobby and I witnessed the death of the Mary. Pretty sad, yeah. I remember watching that as a little kid. That made me very sad too. Would have been a while ago. What are the posters behind me from? I mean, the three smaller ones, they're like displates, and I got that one from Wish. I used to talk about like what they're actually from. That one's Code Geass, that one's um, Kateku, Hitman, Reborn, those are two anime. Obviously that one's like Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne. And that's Sasuke from Naruto. <laughs> Now you know. Mm, One Piece is the best. My wife likes it too. She usually doesn't like anime. Really? I mean, One Piece tends to be like a pretty, like, you know, normal anime, right? <laughs> doesn't really seem to differ too much from, like, regular anime, so it's... Interesting that someone that doesn't like anime likes One Piece. But I do love One Piece. The Vare's Bouquet Run. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've done a Vare's Bouquet Run. That shit's ass. The Vare's Bouquet Run is like doing a plus zero weapon run. I did like a plus zero like weathered straight sword run. And it literally was easier than doing a Vare's Bouquet Run. Where I could just like level up as much as I wanted. Vare's bouquet is straight ass. Think on episode 297. I can't imagine watching watching One Piece nowadays and like getting into it. Like having to watch a thousand episodes is crazy. <laughs> Actually crazy. Like I started watching it when there was like 600 episodes. I was like, that's insane. Now there's over a thousand. Like, come on. Why did I quit out? I don't know. Not paying attention. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Why they give such a big character such a useless weapon? What Vare? Um. Ah. I don't know. For the memes, I guess. Okay, let's see how this goes. Can't proc poison against this thing, but. How much damage you're looking at? That's okay. That one did more damage. Watch the monster? Actually, I read monster. I haven't watched it though. That's like the um the German doctor one, right? I read the manga. I hear that's guaranteed. Okay, just one more hit. Just stay still. Nice. Loretta's Great Bow and Loretta's Slash. God damn it. Oh my god, switch to the correct thing, please. That works, cool. Have you tried JoJo Stardust Crusaders? I've only watched like the first season and a half of JoJo's and I was like, this is not for me. Was not a fan. Actually, I think I watched both, like the first two seasons. Like at least most of the second season. I was like, nah, I'm good on this. Don't like it. A manga is longer or shorter than anime? I mean, like it's quicker to go you know, through a manga because it's like, you know, it's quicker to read, right? <laughs> um, but like the mangas, I don't know, for like an ongoing type of anime, the mangas are going to be ahead, obviously.
Ronnie. No reason intrigue. That will thou end. I am the wit that I am well. I see that are like twenty times what Loretta? I decided watching Bleach. I actually watched the new season of Bleach. I gotta go like get back. I gotta like re-read it again. Cause like it's been like 10 years since I watched Bleach. It's been a while. Probably longer than that actually. <laughs> Probably longer than 10 years. Dodge Hentai? No. Receptor Saluvis. Oh, the dancing charm would be a good option. That's true. I forget about the blue dancer's charm. But then again, I'm not light rolling. But this doesn't weigh much. I could just go naked. <laughs> huh. Okay. I think that's the grace. Do you have a life? Um, yeah, this is my life. If you actually watched the big three as well as Dragon Ball, I watched like over a hundred anime. Like all between like the age of like 12 and like 15, I watched like dozens of anime. A lot of like long series one. Pretty pathetic stuff. <laughs> what am I aggroed on? Come on now. Should I get the dancer's charm? Ah, Sneaky, thank you for the follow. Maybe after I kill like Godric and I get like more endurance, maybe? You should try Jojo's? We'll see. We'll see. Because right, when I watched it, I didn't care for it, so... I don't know if I try to watch it again. Okay, now I speak to her. And then she gives me that. Now, should the portal be opened now? Ah, ghost has gone, man. Once stand gets introduced, it gets insane. Uh, it's been like 10 years since I last watched Jojo. Um, does starting class and dark does one mean anything? I mean, the starting classes in any game don't mean anything, so... <laughs> All the starting classes mean nothing. Because you can get, like, all the weapons and, like, spells that you get off the starting classes pretty early on anyway. Or at least relatively early on. Um, as long as you just start off with the master key. Then you're fine. At least you start off with a thief, obviously. That already gets the master key. How many hours do I have? Probably like 2700. And you could have started off like the Pyromancer because you know, Pyromancy is amazing. And it starts you off at level 1. <laughs> take the pendant? Yeah. <laughs> Michael Zaki would take the pendant. I have a miniature Ronnie. Um, cool. I have 38,000. We might level up some more endurance. Still medium load. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Bro, that pendant like literally like stun locks the entire community for like the longest time. 
And he was like, oh, no, I was just trolling. Just joking. <laughs> Miyazaki's always been a troll. Always been a troll. Can I not die here, please? Go away. I don't like ants. Why do they put big giant ants in the game? It's gonna run without looking at them. Do you guys know that these ants get a grab attack? I know these ants get a grab attack. That shit scared the fuck out of me. What did I do for work before gaming? Only fans, not kidding. Um, I had this like a, I was like a retail manager. That's what I did. Love to see scorpions as enemies. I said those scorpions in the um the demo, wasn't there? The Ark Thrones demo. And that desert area, that desert area was so cool. Kind of makes you wish that FromSoftware actually makes like some weird desert. Arabian, Egyptian type of game. That'd be cool. So many aesthetics they still gotta cover. This is why they don't- they shouldn't do sequels, because there's so much stuff they haven't done. We need to get a pirate game, a caveman game, something with dinosaurs. Something Egyptian themed? Come on now. There's all this stuff that we haven't gotten. Arab souls, yeah. Should I go with that golden seed? Yeah, why not? Why not? Oh, no. oh I can't even get the golden seed anyway. Yo, this is like the white backs so are like this. Ugh. These ants, they're, they're creepy as hell. Mexican souls? Hell yeah. He said caveman? Bro, imagine if we had a caveman, Sekiro. And we've got to fight dinosaurs and ride on a dinosaur. Come on now. Come on now. It's like secular but strength. You get to have a club. And you get to do some like strength club based things. Come on now. Come on now. Arc but good? Yeah. What do you think of slice of life anime? I mean there could be pretty feel good stuff you know. If you're like pretty down and you want something like that can cheer you up, I don't know. They can be pretty funny too. You gotta be like in the mood sometimes. It's not like, you know, my go to option. <laughs> but I don't mind them. Don't really think about them much. Slice of Life's <laughs> Dark Souls game, yeah. This guy, like, look at an anime about a bunch of, like, you know, kids that had a lot of fun with their life. And then compare it to my life where I didn't have that much fun. They'd be like, damn, I missed out on a lot. <laughs> okay, where am I getting the mushroom crown again? I forget exactly where it is. Um, hanging off the column in the southeastern corner of the Lake of Rot, climb the fallen pillar... Leading to a, a rocky cropping. This is the worst... Directions? Like, Fextra have... I don't know. Okay, we just go southeast. Like, I don't know. Like... <laughs> I don't know. We just go head in a southeastern direction. It's probably gonna be past, like, the boss, right? We do a little running. It's been a while since I grabbed this. It's an Aeonian butterfly. Wow. Jump twice if you love your viewers. No. Is this it? It's probably not it. <laughs> There's the dragon. Mm 
-mm. Why do you want me to jump twice? You're not seeing my feet. It's probably up there. That's probably the one. Unless it's like up there. Roll if I hate the white mask. It's like, like in the game, jump twice. Because I'm not like, getting out of my chair. Whee! I found it. Literally, first try. Okay, let's go kill some stuff. Yeah. Let's go kill a dog. Blink in the next three minutes if you think your videos are mid. My videos are amazing. Oh, I can't really go benefit off the, um... The dancer's charm now, because this thing is pretty heavy. Nine units. Rip the dancer's charm. Okay, um... I don't know what my last talisman slot's gonna be. Do I have a soul's addiction? I can stop whenever. Maybe have a content creation addiction. That hit me right in the face. Damn, I'm so dripped out. Look at my fashion. You guys wish you were as fashionable as I am. Oh, come on, move! Oh my goodness me, these... It does do deadly poison, yeah. It's just at the weapon skill. If you hit with the weapon directly, like with the stupid attacks, it's just gonna do regular poison for whatever reason, but the skill does deadly poison. Okay, now we have basically everything that we need for the entire run. We're kind of set right now. We're kind of set. I might go grab this armor set, because, you know, more damage negation. That's what every addict says. <laughs> I'm not addicted. Do you guys like Rayu Lucario? Where does Rayu Lucario rank in your legacy dungeon list? Based take, but I hate how the mushroom tip hat looks. No, let me in. The dog doesn't follow me. Never happens. Yui sounds 5'9". I'm like 5'10 and a half. I don't know, I haven't like measured myself in a while. <laughs> My height at least. I feel like it's missing something. Like a good boss. <laughs> I think you're right. I think it's missing a good boss. I was expecting Hogwarts, like, moving staircases and stuff. I think it's good enough. I mean, like, to be fair, like, a lot of it's, like, easily, like, missable. You can, like, skip so much of it. Like, there's a whole, like, section with, like, rooftop scaling past, like, the dog boss, like, to the left. And it's kind of, like, easy to miss as well. I forgot to buff. I'm nothing without my buffs. Hold on. Rip flame gummy strength. How am I gonna win now? Nice. Now we have lots of damage. Now we have lots of damage. Go ahead, do all that run running stuff. This is why I like poison builds. Because, like, I'd feel, like, less frustrated when I'm fighting a boss that just runs around. Because, like, ha, you're taking damage anyway. I don't care. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep running. Um, mind, I guess? I don't know. I have three FP flasks. That should be enough, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you can proc poison on Renala. I hate that wolf. Same. It's like Sif, but like worse. Because it just keeps moving around. 
but yeah, the, the section to like the left here, you can like scale across all the rooftops and like it kind of wraps back around to the beginning. It's kind of cool. It makes for some like nice level design, but like... It kind of just feels like there's nothing really there and it kind of feels like more out of the way than anything, but... Still looks kind of cool. Mm -mm. He's like glass cannon, but like me. The layout is shit. <laughs> I think the layout's fine. I think the layout is better than like Farm Asla. Like Farm Asla, like level design. Like it looks cool. But like it's just like one like linear path with like a couple of branching like pathways. Oh my goodness me. I wasn't paying attention. Now he's gonna kill me. He's just gonna roll catch me every single time. Oh! Go away. Rip Sorcerer of Regier. Oh, the Red Wolf of Radagon. Yeah, true. True. Very true. Of course I'm not at full health. That's fine. I was gonna get damaged anyway. Um, okay, let's go buff. Okay, now you're not gonna stagger me. You're gonna let me get this buff off. You're gonna let me get this buff off. And you're like, gonna let me get this one off as well. Okay, now you're gonna let me... Cool. He's gonna drink this as well. Stay at full health, why not? 10% more damage. Do I know Travis Scott? Yeah, we're like best friends. My buff still active? Don't. We're good. Nice. It's like borderline impossible to make a boss that spams projectiles like fun. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, she probably wouldn't have been too bad. I think it's like the summoning that kind of throws me off. And she's not even summoning. Nice. Never happens. Easy game. I didn't even have my Kindred of Rock Excitation on. Oh my god, I just ruined 20% more damage for no reason. I won. That wasn't too bad. Is this the best shield in the game? For damage? Probably not. Are you married? No. <laughs> not even close. What's like the opposite of married? Okay, Vigor. Cool. Wait, how much? Plus 22. Wait, if I drink this... Oh my god, it's fine. Okay, do we go kill the um, Draconic Tree Sentinel? Yeah, we do. Divorced? I'm not that, no. What do you call it when like you haven't been in a relationship? Like a real relationship. A loser? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> a souls player? A virgin. All of which are very synonymous. Gay? No, not gay. <laughs> a souls enjoyer, yeah. There we go. I'm a souls player. 
I do runs like this in my spare time. This is what I do. Am I married? I'm literally doing an Elden Ring playthrough of which I only am allowed to do damage using a weapon skill with a shield. That's my life. <laughs> That's my life. And I enjoy it. It's fantastic. 2,000 hours in one game? The funny thing is, I have more hours in other games that are not Souls related. Relationship celibate. <laughs> Okay. This is gonna be fine. I think like the worst boss would be oh, actually a millennia would be pretty bad, right? Because millennia has like the highest poison resist like known to man. Find I could probably proc poison like once like you, we looks at this in that snake. entire fight. The big ass flamethrower head, I have done like a run with it. Um But I didn't do like an Ash of War run. I did like a shield run. Just like a regular shield run, and I didn't... I used that shield, but I didn't just use the weapon skill. What other game? I, I have like... 4,000, probably 5,000 hours in Destiny 2. Or Destiny and Destiny 2 combined. I have lots of hours. And if I combine all my hours in like the Battle Royale games that I've played, I probably have more hours too, so... <laughs> How many years have I been playing video games? I mean, I've been playing video games like all my life, but like... I guess when I started to become a loser... Um... Would have been about... 10 years ago when I played Dark Souls 1 for the first time. That was like the start of the decline. Of my social life. Not that I really had much of a one to begin with, but... I think Melania is not strong against poison. She is very much just as equally strong against poison as she is Scarlet Rot. She has like 1400 poison resist. So yeah, pretty stupid. <laughs> Miyazaki ruined this man's life? No. Michael Zaki put food on the table for me, okay? I'm out here making money playing these games. That's crazy. I owe him my life. That's some nice damage. Dodge! Oh. That's fine. And the range is good too. I think this is just neat. Oh my god. Healing is not neat though. Hey, Miyazaki gave me life. Hit him from the back. Wait. I'm going for it. Good RNG. That wasn't good RNG. This shield is actually pretty nice. It is. I thought I could outspace that. Clearly not. That hit me? Cool. Let's go heal again, stay at full health. That poison is putting in some work. Is Michael Zaki my dad? Yeah. That's not gonna hit him. God damn it. That's good, that's fine. Proc poison? Nice. And that's a GG right there. Wait, not yet. Not yet! My buffs are off. That's a GG. Gotta love deadly poison. It like takes for like twice as much as like regular poison. And it can like proc just as fast. <laughs> and it doesn't last very long, so it's just good with the buffs. It's just like so much better. Than having regular poison. 
I think it does like just as much total overall damage as like regular poison and like a third of the time. I think that's like what the math is like. I might be wrong. Um, Eskinal, thank you for the follow. Welcome in, my guy. What is going on? I missed the first Destiny. I have fond me memories playing those games. I'm trying to get back into them. <laughs> I'll probably play like the next Destiny 2 expansion when it comes out. Probably stream it as well. Nobody's going to be a care to watching it, but I'll play it. I'm going to be there. Bites the hand that feeds him by judging Miyazaki. I'm giving him advice. I'm giving him advice, you know? It's called criticizing the games. As if you wouldn't want the people that like enjoy your games and like them to also be critical. It's like the way to get better. People have problems like just accepting criticism sometimes. But with people that are actually like, you know, wanting to actually get better in their craft, they would gladly take criticism. Which is why I think that um, as a gaming community... Ah, Samurai, thank you for the follow. We shouldn't um, glaze as much. I missed my jump. How did you miss the jump, you buffoon? Literally one jump. Ow. But any single time that someone like criticizes somebody's favorite game, and it'd be like legit criticism, people are just get mad. Like even that IGN review video that we saw about Dragon's Dogma, they gave it an 8 out of 10, and they should have had thousands of dislikes, because people were complaining that it wasn't high enough. Like an 8 out of 10. And it was like before the game even like was released to the general public, people haven't even played the game, <laughs> and they're already glazing it. Like come on now. Uh, best way to get ready for the DLC. Um, best way to get ready for the DLC. I recommend just like stacking up on a bunch of like just materials, like upgrade materials, smithing stones and whatnot. Lava tears will be really good to stack up on as well. Um, I don't know what else. I mean, I probably like have like a bunch of just builds ready. Like, have, like, a status effect build ready, just in case you end up fighting bosses that have, like, very large amounts of HP and you're kind of struggling. Status effects might make quick work with them. Probably have, like, a build backed up for, like, Destined Death or Black Flame, because potential damage over time is going to be pretty good. Um, we don't trust IGN? Do you know, if you don't trust IGN, what's the point of watching the video? <laughs> just click on the video just to dislike it. Ugh, another IGN video. Gotta dislike and leave. Why is Godfrey so easy? It's because you're so good at the game. That's why it's easy. It's because you're just amazing. That's why. You think that Serpent Hunter is good against Mesmer? Yeah, Michael Zaki contacted me and he's like, Hey, look, Mesmer is going to be weak to the Serpent Hunter. I don't know. <laughs> probably not. I mean, the Serpent Hunter is a good weapon, so it probably is going to be good against him. I'm not going to benefit of poison against this boss. That's my entire personality. Mm -mm. Look, I think even if like it's an opinion of what you like you disagree with or you think they're just coming from like a bad place or no, probably not coming from a bad place, but if you just disagree with their opinion on the game There's no need to hate on that because like everyone's gonna have different preferences in like what a game actually is That's why like if you want to like get a game and you want to look at reviews first looking at multiple different reviews is going to be beneficial because someone actually might not like a certain aspect of the game that you actually might enjoy, right? So someone actually might criticize the fact of the game where it's like, oh, there's like a lot of backtracking, there's not enough fast travel. Um, and other people actually might enjoy those things because it's more immersive, right? So that's why you just like get it from different sources. And IGN is just like a different source. It's still like just one guy making a review. It's not the same IGN reviewer every single time. Um, anyway, those are my thoughts.
And I think you should guys do the exact same thing against, um, well, when it comes to, like, weapon rankings as well. You shouldn't, like, just look at my, uh, weapon rankings. You should look at other people's weapon rankings, because everyone's gonna have their own different experiences, and... Certain playstyles might be good with certain types of weapons. Mm -mm, you should never just get your information from one place. Basically is what I'm saying. Dodge. Do the flip. Thank you. I mean the spin. Dodge that one. Nice. Never trust you. We got it. Yeah. Can you be normal, please? That's gonna hit me. Come on, buddy. If I attack, and you attack, I'm gonna get mad. I cannot believe this. I'm such an idiot. God damn it. I thought he was going to be like, hey, look, this is turn-based combat. It's your turn now. It's like, okay, it's my turn. Hype to say this coil shield run. How much did I miss? Well, I'm at Lendell, so... You've missed a fair bit. But the coil shield is actually really good. Is Dragon's Dogma a Souls-like? No, it is not. It's like an action RPG. Like an immersive action RPG type of thing. Silly me. It's kind of like playing games like, um... Like Path of Exile. But just like... In an open world... Third person type of game. Like some of the combat might seem pretty similar. To like the Souls games, maybe. Sometimes. There's no way that hit me. I was literally watching my character roll past the rock. I cannot believe this happened. Uh, 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 which is the worst? Web, uh, Varys Bouquet or the Clinging Bone? I think there's nothing as worse as the Varys Bouquet. Nothing is worse than the Varys Bouquet. I'm not gonna lie. The thing does such bad damage, like more so than anything else in the entire game, it's honestly laughable. Like there are daggers that get higher AR than the Varys bouquet. Ari's bouquet seems OP when he uses it. That's because it's an NPC. NPCs are just broken. All the YouTube shills are under fire for leaving out the fact that Dragon's Dogma has microtransactions. They hate to lose company access. Well, like the YouTube... Well, like... What are you talking about? Like the reviewers and stuff like that are under fire because they didn't... Wasn't like the microtransaction thing like after the game got released? I don't think people really knew about it beforehand, right? Anyway, GG. They knew? Oh, okay. They knew? How dare they? Yeah, party-based action RPG, yeah. You can't start a new. You can't start a new save in Dragon's Dogma Two. You have to pay like yeah. It is kind of silly, but like the thing is like I don't think you really need like a new character in Dragon's Dogma, right? And I think there's like there's no like RPG stats to where you have to like respec because you just have like classes that you can always switch back and forth. But it is kind of silly that they can't do that because the first game didn't have it, but now they're just monetizing it in the second game. 
Any tips on Malekith? Um, well, like, first phase, Beast Clogerman just dodge to the side every single time, and then... For Malekith, I recommend just staying close to him. Like, staying too far away from him means that he's gonna spam a bunch of, like, all those projectile attacks, and it gets kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, I recommend just staying close. And, I don't know. Trying to hit as, like, much, like, charged heavy attacks as he can when you see an opening to get a poise break. Because stance breaking could result in... him getting staggered. For a long time. I mean, he doesn't have much health, so basically if you get like a stance break like once in the second phase, it's basically a GG. If you have enough damage, that is. Because he's kind of just like a glass cannon. Just don't die, bro. Yeah. That is the strategy. I don't know what my last talisman slot's gonna be. I want to optimize my build and I don't know what to put on. I don't trust any reviewers. They can be bought. Mm-mm. What is thy business with these thrones? Try and get the Bernal parry thing for the second phase. The Bernal parry thing for the second. Oh, the Blasphemous Claw. Oh, Ritual Shield. I actually said that I wanted to get that, didn't I? True. True. That'd be good. That missed, he dodged. How did he dodge? I actually like never used the Blasphemous Claw. Like not a single time. I don't even know where to get that from. <laughs> Maybe when I do my parry run, I'll use it. There's a video I saw, Dragon's Dogma, of them using a video of real steak because the developers are too lazy to add cooking animations. Actually, I saw that. <laughs> That's fine, like, if you want to use a real steak, that's, <laughs> that's, not the, that's not the worst defense. God damn it. Like, I don't care if the cooking animations <laughs> are real or not, you know? It still takes effort to, like, you know, get a high-quality camera and some meat, you know? It's like it takes zero effort. And I don't blame them, honestly. It's like, fuck it, just grab a camera and record it, who cares? I was gonna care about some cooking animations. <laughs> Can I hit him from here? I can! W. I'm using the Death Poker for my Frost build and it's pretty good. Yes, the Death Poker is fantastic. Capcom been hanging out with EA too much? Yeah. I mean, apparently Capcom's always been adding microtransactions to their games. Apparently it's always been a thing, but yeah. Nice. We're doing okay. Is that a GG? Poison, finish him off. Nice. See ya, buddy. Dragon's Dogma is really fun, but it's the straw that broke the camel's back for most people. Yeah, I mean, like, honestly, that useless microtransactions is probably not, like, the biggest, you know, wasn't the reason why I didn't play that game. I think the game itself, the play style of the game, or the gameplay is the reason. Not my type of game. No great rune? I mean, I never get great runes in my playthroughs. 
I don't bother, like they're so out of the way. I'm um, Hunter, thank you for the follow. Like if great runes are actually easier to acquire, then I probably would grab them. We have to like go up these big ass giant towers and it's like, ugh. <laughs> Disgusting. Let's go grab the ritual shield talisman. That'd be something that I could benefit off. Great runes are kind of useless. They're not useless. They're actually pretty useful. Like the bad thing about great runes, I mean some of them aren't. Bad thing about great runes is that they're just out of the way. Um, and to activate great runes, it requires finite items. Why? <laughs> Why? It's kind of stupid. Like at least in Dark Souls 3. At least in Dark Souls 3, every single time that you killed a boss, it activated your Embering. I don't know why it doesn't work like that in this game. But I also just, like, even if it did, I'm still not going to be bothered to, like, go climb up a massive fucking tower. Just to get a great runes, like, come on now. Oh, there's two of them! I hit them both with that? It's like, let me just kill this guy. Easy 1v1. Interesting. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! <sighs> um, anyway, that's cool. Level 58 against Malekith? Yeah, bro, come back later. <laughs> How much of the game have you skipped? It's at level 58. <laughs> like, I'm gonna skip, like, a majority of the game. I'm at level 65 right now. <laughs> I'm playing for two hours. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> what happened there? I'm King, what's going on, man? How are things? Curl Shield only at plus 6 and it's doing this good? Yes. I could have got this at plus 9 now that I'm thinking about it. That's fine. We can go get a Sombra 7 and an 8 up ahead. Then I can get the Sombra 9. I mean, I could just grab the Radon's rune next to the Stomber 9. It's not like the most un- ugh. It's still out of the way. I wish they didn't put the Great Runes up on top of the Divine Towers. Or I just like wish the Divine Towers weren't so fucking tall. Like, across these long-ass bridges. But the Radon's Great Rune is very useful though. As is Morgoths, which I can just go grab Morgoths if I just go run across that bridge, but unfortunately you have to kill a boss to get there. And you can't even ride your horse on that bridge too. Very silly. Why didn't you get the Sombra 7 through the teleporter? There was like three you passed by. The Sombra 7 through the teleporter, what do you mean? Whatever do you mean? What's Sombra 7? I just gotta equip my Ritual Shield Talisman. What does Radan do again? Before the Mushroom Crown? Oh, that's right, there's one down there, isn't there? Fuck. <laughs> I'm stupid. Um, Redance gives you like 15% more health and stamina and mind, I think it is. I'm not sure what stamina. I think it's definitely health and mind. I forgot. Something like that. Maybe the stamina too.
I could have had a plus nine weapon for Molgod and Godfrey. God damn it. Stamina as well. Do you wear glasses outside? Yeah. I wear glasses outside. I kind of need them to drive. I don't need them to drive, but they definitely help in terms of like seeing signs and reading things. Uh, Zaynab, what's going on? How are things? How's the run going? The run is going well. The coil shield is pretty good. Pretty good. There's one on the grounds. And you get an 8 by the mushroom crown? Bro. <laughs> Wait, didn't I pick that up? I did pick that up. <laughs> I picked up the Sumber 8, true. I just didn't pick up the Sumber 7. Silly goofball. Now we have a Sumber 7. Everything is fine. Look, I just wanted to make the, um... I just wanted to make the playthrough more challenging, you know? <laughs> I didn't want it to be too easy. What's the most broken weapon in this game? Most broken? I mean, a lot of weapons are broken. I mean... Blasphemous Blade is probably like the easiest thing to use. Like the fact that you get like so much health regen on every single like hit with the weapon skill and have it still do to some nice damage. I think purely based on that, it probably makes it for the most broken. But if you're talking about like broken ass damage, that's also pretty easy, then the yeah, Dark Moon, Greatsword, and the Mogwin Sacred Spear are also built different. Is Bastard Stars good? The Bastard Stars is good, yeah, but I still would never want to use it because the Wing of Estelle exists and that's just like the same thing, but just way better. Just way better. Like, the Bastard Stars weapon skill has, like, pretty particular use because, like, it does go further and it goes in, like, a larger radius. Um, so there might be some specific circumstances, but like, I don't know. For the most part, the Wing of Estelle is just, just clears. The weapon reminds me of Jerma. Which one? What's the Wing of Estelle? It's a curved sword. Of which works very similar to the Bastard Stars in terms of its weapon skill. Like a very similar animation that's called the exact same thing in Nebula. But the weapon skill just comes out much faster and can just do more stance damage. And it also gets like a projectile heavy attack. Like the heavy attack is a projectile and it just does insane damage and insane stance damage. It's pretty good. Yeah, Wing of Estelle is like a top 10 weapon in this game, definitely. And it's not a flail, that is true. <laughs> it's a curved sword. Much better. I think that's a Sumber 8, right? I already have one, so it's fine. I don't think there's a Sumber 9 around here. Bloodhound Fang is good with Blood Flame Blade? Yes, it is. It's amazing. Blood Flame Blade just like made bleed builds just like even better. Like, the fact that you can just get amazing damage and amazing blood loss build up, it's kind of silly. Don't even need, like, an occult infusion or an occult build. An arcane build to actually get good blood loss build up. Kind of insane. Playing Monster Hunter World right now, Elden Ring is child's play compared to this game. How do you mean? I found this int faith weapon, I forgot its name. The Sword of Night and Flame? The Sword of Night and Flame was like the only int faith weapon in the entire game and it's amazing. It's really good. It does very high damage. Mm -mm. Every NPC has got a big nose. Just like me, for real?
Um, do you think that Black Flame Blade is an oversight or just designed to only last that long? I mean, clearly it was designed to only last that long. I think the problem is, is that the balancing was just done by like many different types of people. Like 100% it was. There's no way it was like the same team of people that just designed all the spells. Because like some spells are just completely broken and you have other ones that are just like trash and it's like... Which is always going to be a thing, but... They have like a thing against damage over time. They're pretty scared to make it viable, I think. Because they know that like you can proc this status effect on every single enemy. It's like percentile damage over time for everything. So I guess they're kind of scared to make it too powerful. That's my thoughts. But I don't know why it doesn't at least last like 15 seconds though. Cause like the, yeah, the rope, the rope to grease, they last like 15 seconds. And it's like the same animation as well. I don't need that. Uh, should I bother doing Varys questline? To get a Sombra 10 or no? Where's like the next closest like Sombra's 10 that I can get? There's a 9 by the Minor Erd Tree? Oh, is it the one like on the... Hey. Is it on the bridge? I forget. Killing Garank in the Dragon Burrow. Wait, killing Garank in the Dragon Burrow gives you a Sombra 10? It's a dragon stone, not a somber stone. But yes, yes, yes. Smithing could cool. Um, that's fair. Ah, uh, okay. He gives it to you by giving him all the death roots, yeah. So I guess... I could just kill Nialda and get one of the consecrated snowfield. Is it this bridge or that bridge? Have you ever done like a high level run? No. No, I haven't. You have one after Loretta? Yeah, I'd like to get one before Loretta, you know? <laughs> it's like, am I bothered to do Vare's quest line? That's the question. Where am I going? This way. Is plus five too low for Malekith? Yeah, plus five. Is too low for Malekith, yeah. Being that you can get like a maxed out weapon before that point, easily. Mm -mm. Yeah, Anastasia gives you on, yeah, I know. We'll just go gra- uh. I mean, I kind of want to go kill Moog anyway this playthrough, so I might as well just do his quest line. But then I might as well go to the Consecrated Snowfield anyway, because I'm going to have to go to- Ugh. 
Okay, that's fine. Let's go get this a plus nine, and then we'll go kill Commander Neil. Although I do like to fight Nial later in the playthrough when I have... Strengthen armaments. I need souls. Mm. How so lit? How... what? <laughs> what do you mean? Just warp to Moog? <laughs> Should we just warp to Moog? I can just click like one button and just teleport there. Every single time that I always want to go do something on my computer, I'm always at Leon of the Lakes. Like this happens all the time. Leonor is just the worst. That saved like 30 minutes of time. Nice. Now I can have more time to actually kill some bosses. Isn't that nice? Jump up! That didn't touch me. I didn't get hit by anything there. Leona is the worst? Yeah, for my PC. It makes it lag. <laughs> I mean, as an area, it kind of sucks too as well, but, yeah. Area do be sucking too. I mean, just like the lake section. The lake section is, like, fucking egregiously bad. Like, the outside of the lake is nice. Um, But that big-ass giant lake is just fucking trash. Just dog shit. I didn't care what the law reasoning is. It's just terrible. We have a summer ten. Let's go kill the fire giant. Rank the Elden Ring rages by PC performance. Everything is at the top except for Leonia at the bottom. Mm -mm. You use Steam? Yeah, I use Steam. Okay. So we have plus 10 weapon. I have all the talismans that I need. We have the mushroom crown. I don't think the mushroom crown is even going to work against him as well. Because like he's so big. That he's like not classified as like a nearby boss. What are your thoughts on the steam deck? Um, I don't have one. But like, it's cool that you can play games on Steam on a handheld device. That's pretty cool. It could art thou lit why? What? What are you on about, bro? What are you on about? Okay, cool. Bogue must mew? Why else would he name his dynasty Bogwin? What? What are these? I don't... <laughs> what are you guys on about? A uh, schlump bozo. Thank you for the follow. What's going on, man? How are things? Hope you're doing well. That's some nice damage. So he procced poison, but like... It doesn't classify him as like a nearby boss. Cause like, he's so big. And I think I had to be like, closer towards like, the middle of his body or some shit. To actually proc the buff. It's very silly. They should fix that. 
But they're never gonna. Such a weird nasius. This is why I should be there working at FromSoft for telling them about all this stuff. Like, hey, look. There's issues. Help me. Good RNG? Never happens? Ah, oh, shit. Got one more hit to the second phase. You can go buff again. Okay, hopefully a classify system is like nearby. For this one. For poison. He's doing it back to back? Oh my god, the RNG. It still didn't fuck the buff on me though. Would you look at that? And it's ticking in for damage. I didn't want that. Let's get buff again, why not? Hit him in the... Wait. It's fine. We're doing well. Weapon's actually doing better than I thought it would. It's not too bad. I'm gonna try to hit him in the head. And miss the head. In the head. In the head again. God damn it. No, stop. Leave your hand there for an extra, like, second. Bro, stop that. I remember the shit on the network test? Was it in the network test? I don't remember this being in the network test, I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember. That missed. There's no way that missed. There is no way that missed. The game doesn't like me. You gotta do something. Not roll away. <laughs> this weapon is too broken. Use my fist. The weapon is in fact connected to my fist. I swear to god. Finally, we hit him. Why does it miss? What is this lock on as well? Like, I don't understand. What am I using for buffs? Um, this gold of our flame gummy strength. Basically it. My wondrous flask has the strength and faith too. Faith too to meet the requirements for golden bell. Come on. Okay, you proc poison, that's good. Now we should just die to that. And I do have... The mushroom crown and stuff on. I wasn't paying attention, god damn it. <laughs> it should be a GG now. We did it! Easy game. And that was without getting hit a single time as well. Nice. No hit run. Gaming, yes. Big gaming. Mega gaming. I'm actually excited to use this against the, um... The Godskin duo. I'm guessing it's gonna perform pretty well. It might do nicely. Mm -mm. This isn't Aggie, this is Yui. I'm probably not in that tier of like... The god gamers, you know? Yui and Aggie collab when? I don't think Aggie knows of my existence, I'm not gonna lie. Um... Vigor? 
And strength. It's like boosting my AR by one point. Kind of useless. Why would I rank this up in a tier list? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty useful. I'd probably put it like in the A tier. It's like the best damaging option, but like it has its use in proccing deadly poison very quickly. I would never use it as an actual shield though. Bro, I need like a sit-stand desk. Cause like, sitting down is like bad for my ass. <sighs> Very good. What's the next ranking plans? Um, that's a good question. What was thinking, I don't know, what do we plan out? I was either gonna make a video of like the best weapon in every single area, like what, what, like the best weapon that you can get in every area in Elden Ring. It's like, what's the best weapon to get in Faram Azla? What's the best weapon that you can get in Limgrave? Probably something like that. Or like maybe like best early game weapons. Um, someone said like best weapons for millennia. So maybe like a top ten best weapons for millennia or something. I don't know. Have you done best weapon per class? Yes, I have. And it was like a while ago and I kind of disagree with it already, so... I could... I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna redo any of my videos that I've already done. But I kind of want to go and do like more rankings across the other Souls games. I mean, once I finish my Guts as Greatsword marathon, we'll go rank the Guts as Greatswords. But there's like, there's only four. And like having a whole dedicated video for like four weapons. It's gonna be like a five minute video. You cheeky goon. Yeah. What? I don't know. So yeah, that's basically what we're looking at right now. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for that Guts as Greatsword. I don't know if I wanna do all the Ultra Greatswords because like, there's a lot. <laughs> like when I did the Katanas, it's fine because like there's only like 30 something. Um, with Ultra Greatswords, there's like, a lot in every game. There's a lot. I'm downloading Dark Souls 3 right now. Nice. The great swords that look like the guts is a great sword. <laughs> Unless I include like the Zwei Hander on that list too. Should I include the Zwei Hander on that list? Like rank all the Zwei Handers and the um the great swords. My favorite weapon in Elden Ring, I like the Maricus Hammer. It's cool. Should I finish Dark Souls on or finish my lie? What lies a P? Um I don't know. I, I typically don't start multiple games at once, so <laughs> I just play one game, then I finish it, then I go to the next. So I don't know. Whatever one that you started first. Just finish that one. In my opinion, DS3 is the best FromSoft game. Nice. I like Dark Souls 3 too. I kind of do like another ranking across all the games as well. And I should I get like best boss weapon across all the games? Probably not. What would be like a good thing to rank across all the games in terms of like weapons? Maybe like best spe- oh, I don't know. I already did spell types. Um, have a good stream. Oh, thanks, Adam. Thank you, my guy. Appreciate it. He's just staying still. What are you looking at? Him? Okay. Darns. Come on, buddy. Okay, if you're gonna stay still. I hit them both. Nice. 
He jumped over it. He jumped over it. That's gonna hit me. Oh my gosh. I hate this fat guy so much sometimes. Just ruins everything. He has like so much distance that he covers. Just stay at full health. Why not? Nice. That should kill him. Side of the poison. He's just staying there. Oh, that missed. Oh. Dodge that. Go to your second phase. He should go to the second phase now, right? Do it now. Nice. I'm gonna let him do the spin. Because if I hit him there, he wouldn't have done the spin attack. But if he does a spin attack, then I'm free to hit him a bunch of times. Good play. Does the Ash do his piercing damage? I think it just does striking damage. I actually don't know. Like, it's a shield, so I don't know. It, it typically doesn't change up the type. Maybe it does do piercing damage. I don't know. One thing's for certain is that it doesn't do much stance damage. <laughs> That's for sure. I knew that Belly Thrust was coming and I still didn't have enough time to dodge it. That's crazy. I need FP. Give me a second, champ. Never really understood why people don't like 2. Was it that bad? I mean, like, Dark Souls 2 just... It's probably, like, the most clunky. This probably had some of the worst bosses, too. Like, the level design is probably arguably the worst. Mm-hmm. By far, I had, like, it's the game that had the least going for it, honestly. Looks like a poking attack? I mean, it looks like a poking attack, but I don't think it's, um... Doing piercing damage, though. That works. It's fine. It's okay, I would've rather the other one, but that's still okay. There's no way... Oh, why would you stop? There's that missed. That, that, that missed. No, you're dying. I don't care. This does some pretty bad damage. But that would be about Demon Souls. But uh, Demon Souls has some of the best level design. And it has probably not like the best bosses, but like the bosses are the most I'll say interesting. But they all have like very specific mechanics that make them pretty cool. And there's like no clunkiness, right? So Well, especially with like the remake. That's not gonna go over, right? We good. And it's just looking like a GG. And either way, I still- Oh, I didn't even have my Kindred of Rot Excitation on. I'm so stupid. I need to- It's fine. Either way, I still like Dark Souls 2. Still a fantastic game. Top 10 Fortnite emotes. Orange Justice number 1. It's giving me plus 60. That descaling and strength is kind of shit. I don't know why it doesn't scale of dexterity. What do you think of like a B or C scaling and dexterity as well? Would have been doing way more damage. Probably like it a lot more. Do you know the oh yeah yeah guy? 
the oh yeah yeah guy? No, I don't know the oh yeah yeah guy. I think it was a test game, so it wasn't its best. Just scale with arcane at least. I mean, I'm not too mad that it doesn't scale with arcane because, like, the poison burn up is still very fast, you know? It doesn't need to scale with arcane. It just needs, like, a good scaling and something. You should do a ranking of all the Souls games. That is a video that I will literally never do. I will never do a video like that. You don't need it equipped? I don't need the Kindred? Why don't I need the Kindred? Why don't I need it? Mm. Get the Drake set? That's fine. How come? Um, because I know what that comment section is going to be like. And I probably would like change- my, my opinion changes on the games anyway. Like, I, I don't care because like, to make a video on it, you have to be like objective as well. And I don't like to talk about the games objectively. Like, it's just all personal preference. Like, it doesn't make a difference, you know? <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. Like, ranking weapons objectively could be like a, you know, is beneficial. To like a lot of people that like want to have like an easier playthrough or want to use the best stuff. But yeah, I'll, I'll never do it. I'll never do it. Because like I, I wouldn't even know how to rank them anywhere. Like. Because like my ranking right now would just be based on how much that I've enjoyed the games. It, that's it. I'll probably make a video based on like my first playthrough. I want to. I know I want to make that video, like ranking all the Souls games based on my first playthrough. So like, it's a very subjective video, to where people are not going to be like, as if you put this one higher than this one. It's like it's my fucking <laughs> own experience. I mean, there probably still will be people like that, but it would basically just be like a recount of like what my Souls journey was like, essentially. Of which it could just be a place to where people can just like talk about what they had for their first playthroughs. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Cause like my first playthrough of like, you know, the Dark Souls games weren't that great. Like Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, those playthroughs... ...were not that fun. My first time around. I enjoyed them more in successive playthroughs. So I think it'd be an interesting video. But like a lot of it has to do with the facts that um Like which one you played first as well and like what build that you actually went through the game with. Uh why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? They'll still hate you look at Anthony Fantano. It's because Anthony Fantano gives us score, you know? <laughs> And he kind of talks about things objectively as well. He doesn't really just come from a place of like subjectivity. He very like he very rarely says things like, "Oh, like based on my personal preferences, I like this sound better." I'm not a fan of this particular sound. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But either way, still hating on someone's like opinion is still stupid, so... <laughs> like, especially when it comes to like media, you know? Like, who cares? <laughs> But people, I guess, just always feel the need to have their opinions validated. I don't know.
Like, if I'm making review content, I'm, like, making reviews for people that, like, haven't experienced the thing yet. Like, they haven't played the game. If I was to make, like, a review. I don't want to make it for people that, like, I already played the game. And want their opinions to be feel validated, you know? But, like, it feels like 90% of, like, the viewers that click on review videos... ...do it just for that. Mm -mm. Oh, this, I thought that was gonna hit the pillow. <laughs> Can you stop jumping? Come back. Mm -mm. Definitely not starting to notice like some damage fall off. It's because like the scalings are bad. Like, whereas for, like, every weapon scalings are always bad early game. <sighs> mm -mm. Imagine if Yui got raided by Fantana one day. Why would he raid me? <laughs> What's... He simply just writes in the description, you know, this is just my opinion. Yeah, but that's what he does, though. <laughs> he doesn't really try to reiterate that in the video itself. And, like, the terminology of which he, like, he uses <laughs> as well. But, like, well, wow, he knows what he's talking about. Doesn't seem like it's just personal preference. Anyway, uh, best Dark Souls 3 weapon, probably like the Cell Sword Tim Blades. Um, if you talk objectively, people will say that you're wrong. If you speak from opinion, people will say that you're wrong. <laughs> that is true. You can't really win. Do you like the song Carnival? No. I mean, it's okay. I just, I don't know. I don't like the particular sound. I don't like the features on that. I don't know. That ty the style of rapping is just not for me. Like, I'll hear it and be like, no. <laughs> no. Why do they call it the Cell Sword Twin Blades if they aren't sold? I don't know. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Do I listen to Juice World? No. Viper Bite. We might be okay here. Oh, it went. Oh my god. He's the best player of all time. He literally did like a ducking animation for like the the black flame ritual and he ducked underneath the viper bite. No, stop going with the Oh, I hit him in the head. Nice. Nice. Do it again. Now your heals for you, buddy. That could have gone way worse. That could have gone way worse. Cell sword is an old term for mercenary. Well, there you go. Do you have a gyat? No. Are you having fun? Yes, I am. Having a grand old time with the coil shield. Is Viper Bite a better Ash War than the Visage Shield's Fire? Um, I gotta do a Visage Shield 
Ash of War run. Like, I did do a run with it, like, a long time ago. But it wasn't an Ash of War run. Um, I think it's more useful than the uh, Vicedid shield, because you could pair this alongside many different types of builds. Because you could just use it to proc Deadly Poison. And you could buff... You could just proc some buffs, and that's about it. I wouldn't really... I think the Vicedid shield is going to be better for damage, though. So if you, like, just want to use a shield for damage... Then the Vicet Shield is gonna be better, I think. I have done a one-eyed shield only run, yeah. The one-eyed shield on weapon skill run, yeah. It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. It seemed like just a better version of like a ballista, I'm not gonna lie. It's like a better version of the jar cannon. But the jar cannon run was so cringe. <laughs> so cringe. Because yeah, like you're forced to reload it every single time after you shoot, and you just got hit every single time. It was so bad. Radagon was not fun. Um, favorite Elden Ring weapon? Probably the Marikas Hammer. I'll see you, Ghost. Thanks for stopping by, man. Mm -mm. I used the Dragon Claw Shield. <laughs> nice. Favorite music artist and favorite song? I don't have a favorite song. <sighs> I mean, I listen to like hip-hop mainly. Favorite rapper is probably Nas. Well, in terms of like artists, probably Kanye, I guess. Bro, what the heck, man? Do you pair with a faith build? I mean, Maragus Hammer is mainly for strength. You can go as like to a little bit of faith, and you can pair it nicely with a claw mark seal. You can have the minimum requirements for a bunch of different weapons, or a bunch of different spells. If I was like to build around Maragus Hammer, I'd go like, you know, like 60 strength, 25 faith type of thing. Favorite Yee album? Um, Carlos Dropout. I've listened to Blue Lips, yeah. Blue Lips is really good. Hold on, buddy. Thoughts on the Kendrick and Drake beef? <laughs> it's hardly even beef, I think, but... <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> Like, I, res I respect Drake, okay? <laughs> He's going to like all the, like these big dudes. He's not winning any of these battles, but I respect it. Because he could easily like just pussy out of all this shit, but he's not. What I don't know about Nas? I know, when I started getting into like hip-hop and stuff, I started like, you know, appreciating like good lyricism and then I was like let's go back and listen to some old school stuff and then and I listened to like NWA and I was like this is not for me it's too dated and then I could put an Illmatic and then I was like okay this shit is fucking insane that was a while back I love Illmatic then I got into like his entire discography then I just watched I listened to like all of that stuff all of his albums. Um, which eye of yours is watching the game and which is reading chat? I mean, like, I can just play the game with my peripheral. I can see the bosses, what they're doing. When you played the game enough times, does Elden Ring have a Grass Crest Shield equivalent? Yeah, it's called the Turtle Green Shield, I think it's what it's called. It's not as good. It's not really worth using. Not gonna lie, I heard of Lil Nas X before I heard of regular Nas. <laughs> That's sad. That's okay. It'd be that way. You're back, Finker. How are things, man? This is putting in some work. This is doing some nice damage. Against Elden Beast is gonna be like super cringe. Ugh. Should I go try and fight Rider Beast now? Isn't Nas dead? No. <laughs> Nas has like been dropping like albums like every year. For the past few years now. Look how quickly it just procs the poison. And kind of like at any distance of like the um the coil shield. It still procs the buffs. Which is pretty nice. Mistaken for Tupac? Yeah. It's Puck. 
parked that a while ago. Um, strength, I guess. I mean, I don't really need much else at this point. I could try and just kill, like, Commander Nial and trying to head to, like, the Halig Tree and stuff. Kill Loretta. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not going to be doing that much more damage. Like, I'll probably try and get to, like, 60 strength. It's fine. We'll go into, like, another... Top 5 great or heavy thrusting swords? Top 5 heavy thrusting swords? There's only 4 in the game. <laughs> There's only four heavy thrusting swords. Um, flasks. We're going to four. I have a couple of... I have one starlight shard. That's good enough. Get to 99 strength. Is it... I don't know. How do you say these names? Is it Nial or Neil? I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to teleport there, bro. I'm not... We started the stream late today, so we're kind of running back on time. Let's just teleport there. Let's go fight him. Dad? No, not your dad. Is it Nail? Neil? Neil? It's just Neil. Neil. Nile. Neil. Nail. Neil? I don't know, dude. Nigh all. You gotta, like, let me buff. He's not gonna let me buff. Don't listen to MF Dim. I've heard a couple of his albums. I don't, like, listen to him much, though. He's good, though. I like listen to him, like, every now and then. I gotta be, like, in a very specific mood. He, like, let go of his shield, like, just as I did it. Like, twice. Nice. Wait a minute. Hold up. Get him. Fuck him up. Get him. Imagine if this thing does some, like, decent stance damage. Oh, that hit me. Imagine, though. Imagine. You ever had, like, Mad Villainly? You had, like, um... M Food. What was his first album? I heard that one, too. I keep rolling too early. Favorite AQTC song. Who? Not familiar with that acronym. That's gonna miss. Oh, I hit him. Nice. Oh, Tribe Code Quest, oh. <laughs> I don't listen to much Tribe either. Like, I've heard, um... What's it called? Low End Theory? <sighs> um, weapons for a Faith Arcane build? Anything that actually gets... Anything that gets passive bleed is gonna be really good. Vigor, cool. Why is intelligence so hated? It's because it's probably just more boring than the rest of them, I guess. I don't know. Let's go fight Loretta. 
Let's just go teleport there, though, because, you know, I don't hate my life. We ain't going to the consecrated snowfield. Love Metro Boomer's production. He does make a bunch of bangers. The spells aren't interesting either. I mean, I think some intelligence spells are pretty good. Some are pretty fun. One of my favorite spells of all time is Old Moonlight. From Dark Souls 3. This, that goes so far. Oh my goodness me. Any weapon with a faith scaling on bloods or occult affinities? What? The thing is, there's no like faith arcane weapons in the game. Whoa, chill. No? Stop that. Um, I completely agree with your statement on how subjective the games are. I personally love shield builds, and I know that you hate them. I, mean, I don't hate them, I just... ...find them boring sometimes. Like, shield-based gameplay. I'd rather just, like, attack and dodge. Power stance. Damage. <laughs> I like damage. You always forget that grace. What grace? But there's another grace. Okay, girl, you need to chill out. She's doing lots of damage to me. I don't like it. She's hurting me a lot. The elevator one? Oh, yeah, true. That's why I can just teleport there again. Oh, I have no FP. I mean, now we can still use it without FP, which is pretty cool. Dodge that? That's not dodging that. You're doing- I forget. I forget. That attack is so stupid. Because, like, she- It bounces off the thing and it goes, like, backwards, like, diagonally. And it still hits you, even if you're, like, away from it. I need to go to the other grace. Which one is it called? Halig Tree Town. Mm -mm, what was my starting stats? I think I started off as the hero. Still have like the same armor set, you know? <laughs> um, Beto, what's going on? Love your vids? Thanks, man. I like my vids as well. You're a real Yui fan? Name every single video. Tyler's evolution is crazy. His last album was very good. Tyler is good. Change my drip? Yeah, I probably should, eh? Put on the carry and set. It's gonna be nice against this boss. How do I beat Millennia? With great skill. I'll stop dodging my stuff, please. When do I start the stream? Um... I started like roughly, um, I don't know what time it is for everybody else, but basically five hours ago is where I should normally start the stream. But today I was late. Don't kick me. I said don't kick me. I don't like you. I'm realizing that. She has cool animations. I don't like you. Bro, this damage is so mid. I'm not gonna be able to fight Millennia. Like, how am I gonna beat Millennia? How am I meant to win? 
Don't. Okay, I mean, we both missed the first one at least. Some artists you like outside of rap? I don't listen to much outside of rap. There's like a lot of R&B back in the day, but it's about it. And then Millennia's is one of those bosses you can't really just like beat her with like a particular strategy. Unless you have like a particular weapon that could counter it pretty nicely, but yeah. She's just like a very hard and bullshit boss fight. You just gotta have to get good. No other way to say it. Don't. Don't. Bad Loretta. Bad. Come back here. Why do you have so many goofy character presets? Because that's what I like. I like making silly characters. It's funny. I could have just strafed that, but... Dodge just in case anything stupid happened. That hit me? Tips for beating Moog? Um... Give me a second. Moog... It's hard... It's like, no, I don't know, use a bleed build, I guess. <laughs> use a bleed build. It's hard to, like, describe, like, how to counteract Moog. Without actually fighting him, to show you. <laughs> do you want bosses harder than... Millennia in the DLC? Do I want one? I wouldn't mind if there's like a boss like Millennia type of difficulty. Uh, we'll go fight Moog now. We'll go fight him now. What did I level up? We're at 50 Vigor and Strength. This is like the first time having 50 Vigor in like a long time. 20 Mind. Might go level up some Mind after this. Seems like the correct behavior. Go fight Mo, go kill Rider Beast, and then wish this, like, I don't know. Just try my best. Against Millennia. I don't know how that fight's gonna go. Probably not well. Where do you get this shield? Do you get it at the Volcano Cave dungeon in Mount Gelmir? I wanna fight Millennia's husband. What? Do you prefer open world or linear souls games? I like the linear souls games better. I mean, I, I mean they both have their own things that they do well. For like playthroughs like this and like just doing different stuff or trying out different types of builds. It's more fun with open world games. I'm um, okay. Um, how to fight Moog. You can like strafe a lot of his attacks. When he does that, just like run backwards, I guess. You can't really punish it without a projectile attack. Um, that attack, he doesn't do like an explosion in the first phase, so you're fine. And I just watch, I guess. <laughs> He's always gonna finish his, like... He either finishes his moveset on, like, a blood attack like that. Um, on, like, the downward poke. Like that one. He'll finish the moveset. Um, or he does, like, the backward swing where he, like, walks backwards. That's where he, like, finishes his moveset. But he just stays like his left side so he don't get hit by like a lot of his like weapon swings. When he does this attack, just roll backwards and then roll backwards again. So you can bait out certain types of attacks. Then you should like walk backwards. See, when he does like that step backwards, then you get an opening. You'll get an opening with that downward slam unless he does the other one. Now uh, this one, you can either sh just strafe it around. Just strafe to his left. Every single time he does that. That attack, you always have an opening, unless he, like, slams the weapon directly into the ground. Like that. In the second phase, you got to dodge it, like, a second later. And you typically do have an opening there as well, but although it's, like, a shorter opening... For, like, one light attack. 
I didn't dodge. And then I got frustrated and I sucked. Heal. Zendar is bigger than Placid Dusax. Sure. You can strafe that jump slam as well? Yeah. That is true, you can do that. I need FP, hold up a second champ. Let me drink my juicy juice. I'm her husband, sorry I didn't tell you guys. <laughs> you can like strafe that blood flame attack too, but um it's kinda more risky. You better just rolling it. But strafe the second one though. And when he does that that one, the quick poking attack, he's always gonna do like the full up blood flame attack in the second phase. So you gotta like dodge twice when he does that poking attack. Do I do stock trading? No. I missed my dodge. Okay, you can just strafe that one too. Cool. That's how you do it. I don't know, it's kind of shitty explanation, but <laughs> hopefully you learn something. So much health? It's because my damage isn't the greatest. This is so not going to be good against these next few bosses. I don't even know what to spec into. I don't know. I'd like to have some more endurance as well. I don't know what to spec into. Um. Okay, let's go fight Radagon now, I guess. Radabeast time. You didn't recommend the shackle? You can use a shackle. <laughs> Moog has a shackle. You could use that, and I definitely recommend getting the purifying tier as well. There are those things. Is 4 floss gonna be enough? I mean, I have like... 25 mind. I should have put more points into mind. And it consumes 8 FP, and I have a... Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be okay. Probably should run to 30 mind, but... That's cool. It will at least work better than the Rings of Light? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Should be better than the Rings of Light. Do you think you're about to beat Moog IRL? No. That's some pretty high poison resist. Look at this guy. Took three hits. Wow. Probably could have attacked him as it was jumping up. Might have worked. Oh my goodness me. Oh, what? Didn't have enough time? Why? But he's immune to status effects? No, he's only immune to bleed. You can still proc poison, rot, and frost against him. Finka, what did I say about saying some dumb shit? Like, this, like, the joke is like funny like sometimes, but like when you keep going, it's just stupid. Come on, buddy. 
I still hit him nice, and then he, he hit me a lot. That's fine. I'm not a fan when you be doing that teleporting shit a lot. It's kind of cringe. I'm gonna double chug here. Oh, what a mistake. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was close. <laughs> Flame Grammy strength. Oh, God. Change the Kindred of Rot Talisman. Change it? I mean, I don't have anything else to change it to. You know what I should have picked up? Like a Damage Negation Talisman. I think that Radon Gone fight is kind of boring. <gasps> what? It's my favorite fight. Anything else? I have literally nothing else. There's nothing else that I can equip. I forgot to pick up, like, the Dragon Crest Shield Talisman. I didn't pick up the Fire Talisman. I didn't pick up anything. <laughs> Name a more iconic duo than Golden Vow and Flame Grammy Strength. I have literally nothing. Change to the Golden Scarab. Now come back here. Literally that. I mean, I, I'm not gonna put on Radagon Sorcerer. That's gonna be this useless. Oh, why did I do that for? Why did I do that? That was such a stupid mistake. I have three FP flasks left. And I have a Starlight Shard. We should be okay. And on honestly, I can use it without FP as well. So, we'll be fine. It feels like a troll most of the time. I love that fight. Okay, he's 700 damage a pop. We're doing, so that's pretty cool. He's doing all that swimming just to do like... Okay. What? I thought I was gonna do the onion ring attack, and he wasn't. Me with a blunt and music full blast are a better duo. <laughs> so you don't chase the Elden Beast, you just like wait for him to come towards you. Stream's almost over, or we've got to go fight Millennia, and that one's going to take like 3,000 years. Because obviously she has a lot of health. And she's very resist to poison. Like extremely resist to poison. I might have to use another FP flask. Do you know what's better than Radagon, the Godskin duo? <laughs> Sure, buddy. Let's do Rykard? No. I did do Rykard on my crossbow run. I need a 10 hour version of this song. It did be going kind of hard. You know, one thing that gets like underappreciated in the Souls games is the sound design. Or like the cool sound effects. Are fucking amazing. We're always talking about like the music and stuff like that, and the art direction. 
but like the sound design pretty good stuff best way to counter Elden stars is ignore it forget that it ever exists it doesn't do good damage anyway That's like the projectile hits here. <laughs> I wish it did. That's what I get for talking shit about Elden Stars. They stuck sound effects though. Hear that sound? It's cool. This is like the worst attack that he has. I still don't know how to counter it. I get hit by it every time. I don't know how to counter it. You can't just like run in one direction. You can't just like, I don't know. It just depends on when he does it and where you are as well. It's like weird. I'm sad that he hasn't reviewed Souls game music. Why would he review Souls game music? He's got better things to do. We'll be okay. I was- oh, as I heal, he does it again. Let's just run to the side, see what happens. Oh, it worked. Never mind, it worked. We learned how to counter it, just run to the side. Okay, why is my damage so low? I'm incantation run plus nine Erd tree seal 50 faith lightning incant is doing no damage Um, what do you I don't know do you have why is he doing it again? Let's try onto the side again See I still got hit by it. He did it three times in one fight. It's fine. Yeah, the Urchie Seal is not the best at 50 faith, but um, a plus 9 Urchie Seal should still be doing fine damage. Recent games have been so boring, I'm considering 100%ing Dark Souls 3. I think 100%ing the Souls games is arguably even more boring than a lot of other games. Dark Souls 3 especially. Um, God Slayer is, is the best seal to have between 27 and 69 faith. So if you're b between those, then the God Slayer seal is best. Anyway, that's how you beat the entire game only using the coil shield. So, yeah. I mean, I was running in a circle because it was going to hit me. I was trying to, like, run perpendicular to it. That's why. Because, like, it's based on his positioning. I think as soon as he's, I see that attack, I should just run backwards to where he's going to do it at a further distance. To where I can run to the side. Because otherwise, he'll do it while, like he's directly over my head. If that makes sense. You don't find farming 1% drop rates 30 times entertaining? No. <laughs> no. I mean, like, I played a lot of online, so I didn't even need to do farming. To get my platinum. I, I mean, to be fair, I, I did play for like a thousand hours before I... You know, got the platinum in the game. That's because I don't really care to platinum the games, you know? I haven't even platinum this game yet. I have like 2700 hours in this game. Um, mind. Guys, go fight that stupid boss. Let's go teleport there. Oh, goodness me. Goodness me. Dragon's Dogma 2 is fun. Can't wait to try Dragon's Dogma. It's not a game for me. But I understand why people like the game. Elden Beast is underwhelming for a final boss. They just kind of made the final boss as a spectacle, which, you know... I wouldn't mind if it was like a secret final boss. That would have been cool. You had this, Grace? Mm, no, I didn't. Mm, no, I didn't. What was I saying? I forget what I was saying. Lightning Spears does shit damage when I use it. I mean, lightning damage isn't really like the greatest thing, right? For damage? Like, 
You could probably go with like, I don't know. If you fully charge it with like the God um, Godfrey's icon, it could probably do some nice damage. But you want lightning, scorpion charm. You're gonna need like a lot of talismans to get good damage out of that thing. And probably like offhands the drag or the gravel stone seal. I forgot what I was saying. Jellyfield shield is bad, it requires so much stat. You only need 14 strength and dexterity, because you could just two-hand it and use it that way. Basically every single time that I do a spell run, I just like go 14 strength and dexterity, then just you two-hand it, use the buff, then just take it off. Or take it off, but just un-two-hand it, if that's the word. You should play Nier. I actually do have Nier Automata, but I haven't actually played it. I played like the demo like a long time ago and I found it boring. But like, I think a demo is like a bad way to judge a game, obviously. Especially if it's like a more of a story based game. I think if I was like invested in a story, I'd care to play it a bit more. And if I was like, you know, working towards making a build or like not making a build, but like upgrading a character or getting new abilities or some shit. You won't like Neo. Why not? I think I'd like it. It's too easy. You don't know me then. <laughs> you don't know. I don't like challenging games for the sake of them being challenging. Like when I play like the Sony exclusives, I play them all in easy mode. Oh, it depends. Like if it's centered around combat, I'll just play it on normal mode. But like a game like The Last of Us, I'll play that in easy mode every single time. That's not bad damage. 999 damage. Oh, this is good. I can hit her at that distance. She's not going to do anything. Oh, okay. Confirmed you can't do that. I hate Neo games. I mean, I played... The first Neo, and I don't know, I gave up because it was too hard. <laughs> like, sometimes you just not bother to try, you know? Like, if the game's, like, fun enough, you, like, try to get good at it and try and counteract it, I guess, but I don't know. Sometimes you're just not bothered. I, like, I'll play those games, but, like, I'd just rather play Dark Souls if I wanted, like, a challenging experience, I guess. Last of Us sucks. Um, in terms of the gameplay, I think Last of Us sucks, but the story is really good. Any reason that makes it interesting. But I think Naughty Dog did it better. Um, did better with um, Uncharted. I like Uncharted better than Last of Us. But I don't think there's a video game out there that has like a better story or character dynamic than those games. Naughty Dog are just built different when it comes to the story, I guess. Girl, you're doing some weird stuff. You need to do like the normal stuff. Normal stuff. I haven't proc poison a single time and I've hit her like a thousand times with this thing. Wait, have I proc poison? I don't know. I don't think so. There it is. There's poison. <laughs> That 1400 poison coming into effect. See, when you're like you're at a distance like this and using particular weapon skills, the boss fight is so easy because she doesn't really do anything until you get like... I have proc poison? Okay, cool. She doesn't really do anything. Ah, oh, so you can't kill her with status effects in the first phase. True. Oh my god. I could use a buff here. We're good. Girl, you gotta do something. You like Neo 2? Maybe. I have Neo 2. I didn't actually buy it. I think someone bought it for me or I got it with something. I forgot what it happens. I think it came with like a console that I bought. I think it came with like, I don't know. At one point. I think I still have like a sealed copy of Neo 2. I'm not even lying. On the PS4. 
It's doing more damage than I thought it was. That's gonna hit me. Silly plays. Should I double chug? Nah, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. It procs poison pretty quickly still. This is doing nice. Nice damage. Oh, that's put in perfect if I didn't run out of FP. Okay, I'm gonna use this and you're not gonna do anything stupid. Nice. I'm gonna use it again. God damn it. Very nice. Let's go buff again. I thought I was gonna run out of FP. I thought it was gonna be doing way less damage. Clearly not. Which Souls boss do you think has the best spectacle? Um. It probably like Placid Dusax. I think those animations where he, like he teleports in and out is kind of fucking insane. In combination with like a pretty sick boss arena. I wish like the Placid Dusax like OST was like a more memorable. They should have like switched the Fortisax OST with the Placid Dusax one. Oh my god. We should be okay here. Nope. Clutch dodging, I kind of fucked it up, but it's fine. Okay, that was weird, but it worked out. <laughs> Godskin though, yeah. Wasted good OST on the Godskin. And that's a GG right there. Well played, Millennial. That wasn't even that bad. I thought it was gonna be way worse than that. GG. GG. I'm not gonna do Rykod. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to hit him at a distance, you know? I was gonna get staggered by like the lava every single time that I walk into it. Anyway. Level 126. After three and a half hours of gaming. That's not too bad. With a shield no less. Um, okay. Now what? I think we're done now. I think we're done, so let's go check out my, um, my comment section, see what the commenters are saying about anything, I guess. Might get started on making that, uh, best weapons in every single area video. Might be something that I do. Never late bro rate again. Okay. In the entire game. Yes. In the entire game. DS2 fire... Why do you even read the comment sections? That is going to be mad anyway. Definitely using this my next run. Nice. Where do you get the... So yes, yeah, Volcano Cave. It's not off the boss. It's like somewhere like halfway down. You can go like scroll back in the video. Find out exactly where. Poison and Dark 2 isn't broken. Poison in the other games is extremely underwhelming. I think Poison and Dark Souls 2 is broken, not just based on effect, it's based on the fact that you can proc poison on like everything. Even enemies that you wouldn't expect to proc poison on, like the Smelter Demon. Like how are you procking poison on just an armor set? Like <laughs> You can proc poison on like everything. Th these literal crutches have it all. Damage, speed, ease of use, range, low FP cost. Too much reading, I don't like to read. I don't care about these comment sections. Everyone's commenting on my YouTube shorts, I don't like that. Is Vyke Spear good? No. 
it's not that good. Just use like a lance. <laughs> if you want like a great spear experience. And put like any weapon skill that you so please. It'll work way better. I haven't killed Placid Dusax, yeah true. I forgot about Flaccid Sex. We are just talking about him as well. Might as well go kill him. Let's just go teleport there, I'm not running all the way to Flaccid Sex. Is the best weapon in the game? Sure. I don't think the Mushroom Crown stuff even works against this boss as well. I think it's too big. I got stuck on a foot. And it hits you twice. That's so cool. I love that so much. But he's gonna like jump towards me, but clearly not. See, so yeah, I proxed poison on him and it didn't actually give him the buff. He's too big. Look at that damage, bro. I wasn't expecting that to hit me, I'm not gonna lie. Bro, a plus 8 flask is definitely not enough. Come back! If someone makes a mod similar to the Scorched contracts for ER... The what? I want a cooler dragon boss in the DLC. I think we will get one. We're probably not cooler, but we'll definitely probably get like a better boss fight mechanically. Because like every single DLC has had a dragon boss fight, or at least for the games that have dragons. Does this monstrosity at least inflict poison? Yeah, it does. It does deadly poison as well. You can see the, you can see the poison cloud around him. <laughs> I saw like the poison surrounding him in the air. Pretty cool. Oh my god. Stay still. That is like the worst hitbox I've ever seen in my entire life. Why would they put a hitbox there? Like, put a hitbox where it actually like pushes out and not like where it starts. That makes no sense. I know he teleports after that. I don't know why I did that. That goes through his body. Nice. Love that. <laughs> it didn't even proc poison. He has high resist. I don't like that. Favorite reskinned boss? The second time I got the question today. Um, probably the Crucible Knight or like Leon and Misbegotten. They're pretty cool. I like those bosses. Which approx poison, you know, before he teleported away, but that's fine. The god skin do I best reskin boss? <laughs> Tis my own fault, I guess. And I got a bite count? I did not, have, in fact, have a bite count. Okay, where are he at?
I thought the guy in your YouTube banner is dabbing. No, I got someone to try and like emulate like the... Do you know the Rings Knight Straight Sword? I tried him to like emulate that. <laughs> it kind of does look like he's dabbing. But it's supposed to be like the Ring Knight Straight Sword attack. We'll just trade out on here. Die. Ritual Shield Talisman is coming in clutch. I forgot that I had that on. <laughs> Just don't teleport again, please. That's like that is like the worst attack I've ever seen in my entire life. Ah. Oh. How many teleports is that? Four? Five, maybe? I don't know. Tick faster, you stupid poison. We did it! <laughs> it would've been cool like if he died in midair. That'd've been nice. Teleports away and then dies. God damn it, I wish that happened. That actually would have made that boss fight enjoyable. That would have been cool. Anyway. Now we're done for real this time. Level 129. I can get to 130 actually. Get to 130. This boss is an A tier. Look, my first playthrough, I really enjoyed the boss fight. I think it was really good. So, I think it's still gonna be deserving to be an A tier. I'm not gonna do Theodorics. Okay, we did it. We beat the game. Everything is done now. Everything is now completed. Okay, you know what I should do? Let's go over like the best weapons in every area. Let's go make that list. Should I like separate legacy dungeons to like actual zones or no? If I make this weapon or make this arm list. Bring up my good old Google Docs. Um, I don't need this one anymore. See a katana list. That video is already done. Best weapon by area. Limgrave. Okay, cool. It's probably going to be the Bloodhound Fang, right? Or like Nagakiba. Where's a list of weapons? Here we are. Bloodhound Fang, Dragon, Communion Seal. <laughs> the Great Epe. Ugh. It doesn't include the Nagakiba. You can get the Nagakiba in Limgrave. Why doesn't it include that? Hmm? The wiki is wrong yet again. It's still gonna be a bloodhound thing. What's the next area? Locations. Legacy dungeons. Best weapon in Stormvale Castle. What the fuck's in Stormvale? It's like there's a misery court, I guess, but what's actually in here? Does it list it here? Banished Knight Halberd Drop. The Warhawk Talon. The Crescent Moon Axe. The Omen Cleaver. Hook Claws. The pike. This shit sucks. <laughs> the Brick Hammer? Got those Australian moons? What? Yui is becoming so prolific. How good is the Geezer's World? The Geezer's is pretty good. Geezer's is pretty good. Siofra does not count as Limgrave, no. And the Dragon Halberd is not better than the Bloodhound's thing. <laughs> 
Um, okay, so I'm probably gonna go with the Banished Knight Halberd. I know what's better, the Banished Knight Halberd or the Pike. I think it's one of those two. I mean, Hook Claws is nice, but they're kind of outclassed. I think Banished Knight Halberd is like the best Halberd that gets a poking attack moveset. Storm, Veil. It's all Storm. How do you spell Veil? Um, Black, Banish, Knight, Halberd, or Pike. I don't know. We'll go decide later on. Um, Rhea Lucaria. What's the best weapon in Rhea Lucaria? A bunch of trash, clearly. Holy shit. <laughs> what? Nothing is here. There is, in fact, no weapons. Where does it say drops? I can't, can't read. There's, like, no weapons in this area. Okay, fuck Ray Lucaria then. I'm not gonna include staffs and stuff. The dagger? What dagger? There's a crossbow, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> um, Weeping Peninsula. Would it be like the Rusted Anchor? Probably be the Rusted Anchor, right? Morningstar based Lord Swan Straight Sword is a pretty good weapon, but I'm pretty sure the Rusted Anchor is going to be the one. I don't think anything is better. The, the Glenstone Chris is in like Rayo Lucaria. It's off like um, Salon's questline, right? K Lid. Um, Cross Naginata. Um, Moon Veil. Ruins. Venomous Fang. It's probably Cross Naginata, right? What do you guys think is better, Cross Naginata or Moon Veil? There is the regalia as well. I do like the regalia. I don't think it's better than the moonvel though. Moonvel for sure. Doing best. I don't know. We'll just go best one by each area. I'm not gonna go best few. Just best. The glinstone sword that drops. Well, that's like the only one in. I mean, I don't know, we'll get to Ray Lucario in a bit again. It's fine. The Vice that Shield, no. <laughs> Moonvale, Moonvale, I don't know. I think I like the Cross Naginata better, I'm not gonna lie. I think I like the Cross Naginata better. Um, Kalid, Kalid, Kalid. I don't know, we'll decide. Cross or Moonvale? The Altus Plateau. What the fuck is here? That was like the Black Knife. That's pretty good. Oh, there's the Marius Executioner Sword too. Godskin Peeler is okay. Oh, the Dragon Great Claw. Can't forget about that classic weapon. Coated Sword. That's um. That's L and Lendel. Um. Fuck. Probably Marius, right? Where is it? Yeah. The Altus Plateau. I think it's better than the Bloody Hellas. Wait, the Bloody Hellas is in this area? Oh, fuck it is. 
Oh, that's right, yeah. Ah, oh, shit. What's better, the bloody Hellas or the Marias? Ah, uh, probably the Marias. Probably got the Marias. I like the bloody Hellas, but probably not. Eleanor is just not as good as those two. But El Eleanor is, is good, though. I think the Marias is the best on this list. What are you doing now? We're going by best weapon by location because I gotta make a video on this and you guys are gonna get spoilers apparently, so. Um, okay, Mount Gelmir. We're not gonna include the Volcano Mantle, that's separate. So obviously Blasphemous Blades are gonna be for that. Raptor Talons. Where do you get the Raptor Talons from? Ugh. Sage's Cave, cool. Um, it might be the Raptor Talons. Oh, Scavenger's Curve Sword. Mmm, probably the Scavenger's Curve Sword is better. Power Stand, Scavenger's Clears. Is there anything else here? Scavengers, Scavengers, Scavengers. Mount Gelmir. Although Raptor Talons is good though. I'll add that to the list too. Raptor Talons is nice. Is the Rotten Insignia and Millicent's Prosthesis worth using? Yeah. It could just result in like just 10% more damage as long as you keep attacking. So with faster weapons, it could be really good. It's actually more than 10 damage or 10% damage. Um, Capital Outskirts. We're just going to include that as Altus Plateau. Is there anything different there though that they're listing? Oh, oh Dovis' Greatsword is here, isn't there? Mmm. Oh, Davis' Greatsword's better than Marias' Executioner's Sword. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, Davis is they're going to win for Altus Plateau. I'm not going to separate the capital to Altus. It's like the same fucking thing. We'll separate Lendel, though. Um, Coded Sword. Oh, you do get, like, Morgoth's Cursed Sword here, though, don't you? Because you get it off Morgoth. That is true. Oh, the Star Fist. I forget about that bad boy. That one is an easy pick. Holy shit. That one was easy. On to the next. The Prelate's Hammer? No. Where is, like, Leonia? I didn't see Leonia here. What are, what are they doing? Oh, it's right here. I'm blind. Okay, cool. Leonia the Lakes. Um, the Banished Knight Halberd is also here. The Dark Moon Greatsword. Well, that that's like uh, I'll put it as like a caveat because you get it later on, you know. Um, I will add. I have another one. So Leonia, DMGS. And then we'll have something else. Obviously, because that's like later on in the playthrough. It kind of doesn't count. Frozen Needle, probably not. The Ivory Sickle. Oh, Magmorum Scale Sword. That one's the best so far. What else do you get in this godforsaken place? Tree Spear. Stormhawk Axe. The Warped Axe. Watchdog Staff is pretty good. The regular scythe. Ornamental straight sword. That's kind of good too. Oh, Knight Rider's Glaive. The Knight Rider's Glaive. True. Is a Knight Rider's Glaive better than the Magmorum Scale Sword? I think so. That's a close one though. What do you guys think is better? Magmorum Scale Sword or Knight Rider's Glaive? Oh, Sonaf. I didn't see that. Where is that? Fuck. True. But still, the glaive for sure. I'm not going to include carry mana as something separate, right? Because ca carry mana is not a legacy dungeon. It's just like an extension of Leonio. It's kind of like Red Main Castle. Um, okay, well, that's that. So someone is saying that you can get um, the Glenstone Chris. 
at Rayo Lucario? Like, how much of Selen's questline do you got to do to acquire that? <sighs> um, Sorcerer Selen questline. Um, so you speak to her though, um, Witchbane Ruins. Summon for the red buff of Radagon boss fight. Once the player has progressed the questline far enough. I can't, okay, this is a 9 to read. So you basically just go see her in like weeping and then you go summon her for the fight. I don't think you have to though, right? Those are locations. What's that crest line? Oh, you have to go to Mount Gelmy to do a crest line. That's not technically like Leonier then. If you have to go to fuck off locations, you gotta go to Caleb too. Yeah, nah, fuck that. <laughs> Celebrant Sickle. Oh, the Envoy's Longhorn for Lendel. True. We'll add that one to the list. I don't think it's as good as the Starfist, but... Um, the Envoy is Longhorn, true. <laughs> what should I have for Rayo Lucario, then? There's, like, nothing for Rayo Lucario. Not gonna add a fucking bow, am I? Because, <laughs> like, even, like, where you get off the bosses is, like, nothing. The carry knight shield, a bow, and a staff. Where's like the list of like weapon drops? I think you can go get the um, what do you call it? What's that stupid weapon that they have? The carrion, I don't know, the carrion knight sword or the glenstone sword? The guardian sword spear is not better than the starfist. Mm -mm. There's like nothing in Rayo Lucario. Doesn't have like a list of like weapon drops. We'll just skip Rayo Lucario then. Lazy the Glenstone Store. That's like the only one, right? Is that a drop? I don't know. Who cares? That just sucks anyway. Um, Caleb, that's done. We've done Altus Plateau. We've done Lendell. Dragon Burrow. Barrow. Dragon Barrow. Beast Claw, Great Hammer. Gargoyle's Black Blade. Godslayer's Great Sword. There you go. Godslayer's Great Sword. Um, mountaintops. What is in this godforsaken place? I'll probably, um... Well, you know what I forgot about Kaelid? I forgot about the Death's Poker. I forgot about the Death's Poker and Kaelid. I just realized that. The Death's Poker is better than the Moonvale and the Cross Naginata. We forgot about the Death's Poker. Okay, um, anyway. What is in this place? And Guts' greatsword too, yeah. <laughs> we forgot a bunch of stuff. Um, Rivers of Blood. Um, the Cranial Vessel Candle Stand. Zamora Curve Sword. No, like, obvious options. <laughs> I think the Zamora Curve Sword is probably the best one on this list. Veteran Prestesis. Nope. Eclipse Shuttle. It's either the Cranial or the um, Zamora. Death's Poker over Moonbell? Yes. 
Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs is on this list. I don't see her. Um, yeah, Death Parker does way more damage than Minville, and it does Frost. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I think Minville is like easier to use because it's quicker, but I don't know. Death Poker Projectile does go further and does way more damage. You can get it in a dungeon there. The, why the fuck doesn't it say that? Why is the wiki so sh terrible? Is it up like a red drop or something or? Either way, I think, I, I, even if it is, I think the Cranial Vessel Candle Stand is a more Curve Sword is better. <sighs> um... <sighs> I don't know, like, as a weapon, the Cranial Vessel Candle Stand I prefer because it has, like, it's just much... Ugh. So the more Curve Sword has the better weapon skill. And Cranial Vessel performs better outside of the skill because it has like some of the most range out of all the Great Hammers. Has a really good scaling and it gets like the highest AR out of all the Great Hammers too. And like the weapon skill is not bad. Weapon skill is pretty decent, but like it's somewhat situational due to its recovery frames. Whereas the more Curve Sword weapon skill can just trivialize the entire game. But like the light attack combos are fucking dog shit and it gets awful range. Could have spent the heavy tax instead. Might go the cranial. Might go with the cranial vessel candle stand. Consecrated snowfield. Okay. What do we have in this terrible place? The rotten stuff. The golden order greatsword. The flowing curved sword. Can there at least be like one good weapon here? <laughs> now the question is, which one do I like better? The flowing curved sword or the golden order greatsword? Battle of the mid. I'm not putting a single duelist weapon on this list. No. Where the fuck do you get the Nox Flowing Sword? Oh, the fuck! This is a Nox Sword. No, this is a Flowing Curse Sword. I'm lying. Okay, I got mixed up. Mixed up. It's not a Nox Flowing Curse Sword. Okay, probably just go with the Golden Order Great Sword. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Ew, the Golden Order Great Sword is gonna win. Disgusting. That's actually disgusting. Saint Trina's Torch. <laughs> I can't do it. If the battle hammer was like not straight up trash damage and trash range, I would put it on this list. But it is trash fucking damage and it's trash range. And the great axe is just even worse. God. Oh, whatever, dude. Um, I don't know. Whatever. Okay, underground. Well, you had to separate the underground, buddy. Einzel River. The Wing of Estelle, that's easy. Wait, is Einzel River, that's part of like, I don't know. It's like Knock Run, right? Knock Run and Knock Stella. Like, these are the, the areas. Like that, Siofra, Deep Root, and then Lake of Ra. Like, those are the areas. Making this shit complicated for no reason. But they're not including them as separate areas. Why is it Nox Stella like, oh, why is it like this? And there's Mogwan's Palace too, which that one's easy. But, um, Lake of Rot, what's in this place? I got Alabaster's Lord Sword here? Cool. Well, that's easy. Okay, Lake of Rot. 
Alabasters. What do you count the Halic tree separate? I don't know. Siofra is gonna be like the dragon halberd, right? Or um the claimant's harpoon. I love how it doesn't mention it here. That's fantastic. <sighs> Probably the dragon. Ah, uh, do I like the claimant's harpoon better or the dragon halberd? I know, I'll decide later. We'll add them both to the list. Dragon Halberd, Claimants. Both pretty good. Okay, Deeper Depths. What's in this terrible place? Silurious Tree. That's easy. Nice. Okay. Nokron, the Eternal City. It doesn't, like, list all the weapons here. It just has the Nox Flowing Hammer. Wait, is this not- uh, that's the only weapon in this area anyway. Is that it? For Nox Run? The Dragon Scale Katana is not better than the Alabaster's Lord Sword. <laughs> not better. Um... Absolutely not. Okay, knock run, I guess, is the Nox Flowing Hammer, even though it sucks ass. Is there literally nothing else for knock run? I'd rather put anything else. What does the Valley and Gargoyles drop? The Gargoyles Twin Blade or the Gargoyles Greatsword? That's one's gonna make it to the list. Okay, which one? What do you think is better, the Gargoyles Greatsword or Twin Blade? Um, knock run. Oh yeah, the, no, the Greatsword's outclassed by the Iron Greatsword, isn't it? Yeah, true. The Twin Blades battle. Um, okay. Ironzell River... ...is separate as well. That's its own section. Okay, cool. So Ironzell River is gonna be Wing of Estelle. That's cool. Hmm. Mogwin's palace is going to be Mogwin's sacred spear. And then what else do you have left? Noxtella? Is that a separate place too? Wait, Ainsel River is just Noxtella, right? I think so. And like the subterranean shining grounds are still classified as like Lendil because you don't have to go like underground for that shit. Is there any, like, any good weapons here anyway? <sighs> Not really. Um, cool. Um, what about... Some other legacy dungeons. Okay, so Volcano Manor is obviously going to be the Blasphemous Blade. Okay, Elfail and Halig Tree will separate those two. Faram Azala. Um, would it be Malachus Blackblade, or would it be... Weapons! The Dragon Tower Shield, that's all you get here. You do get... I'm trying to think. It's just like the stuff of the bosses, right? The Beastman's Curse Sword. Did you miss the run? You missed the run, yeah. We're just trying to like, figure out... Banished Knights, I mean, you get the Banished Knights everywhere. Same thing as the Beastmen's, right? Actually, probably not. Um... <coughs> so it's either the Dragon King Craigblade... ...or the Malachus Blackblade. Malachus or... I don't know, I like them both the same, honestly. I think they're both just as good. They both have, like, certain downsides. I might go with the Malachus, because I think that's, like, a good option for New Game Plus, because Destined Death can fuck shit up. 
if like the Dragon King Cragblade worked with like the Godfrey's icon and Millicent Prosthesis, I'd probably like it a lot more. But it doesn't. And like the recovery frames are kind of shit. You're just gonna like you're guaranteed to take damage every time. But then again, so is the Malika's Black Blade. But I don't know, it just it Malika's can like trivialize a lot of boss fights though. Um, okay, cool. So the Halic Tree and Elfail. What do you get in this terrible place? Enemy drops the Iron Cleaver, the Iron Greatsword, and the Envoy's Great Horn. The Rotten Crystal Sword. Nothing but trash. I mean, the Iron Greatsword is good, but you get that everywhere else, right? Like, <laughs> can't you get the Iron Greatsword, like... The Forbidden Lands, you can get that somewhere else. So it's not even unique to the Halig Tree. I'm not gonna lie, the Envoy's Great Horn is actually the best weapon on this list. Loretta's War Sickle is just outclassed by just putting... Any good weapon skill on like a Guardian Sword Spear just performs way better. Is the Iron Cleavers unique to this location? No, you can get it in Castle Morn. So that... Uh, uh, the Envoy's Great Horn wins, really? Disgusting. I mean, it's not, it's not a terrible weapon, but it's not bad either. And then... Da, 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 where is... Where is... Elfail? Hello? I said Elfail. Why is it... Going to the Volcano Manor? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Their hyperlink doesn't work. Elfail. Okay, what are we getting here? Weapons. Rotten Crystal Sword. Mikella Knight Sword. Any drops? There's like no drops in this area, right? Um, The Hand of Millennia is going to be the only one that wins this one. Forgot about Millennia's Katana? Oh, that's separate. It's Halig Tree and Elfail are different, right? <laughs> We're going to separate them. So I guess Elfail wins Hand of Millennia. As much as I don't want to do that either. Bunch of mediocre trash is winning. God damn it. You on tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Yeah, we'll be on tomorrow. We're going to start the Guts' Greatsword Marathon. Playing some Dark Souls 1. Unless... I don't know. I uh, love your YouTube content. It's been binging the hell out of it. Oh, nice. Thank you for watching my stuff. Hope you're doing well. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I think my content is fantastic too. Wait, should I go do like a Zwei Hander like slash Greatsword Marathon type of thing? Just so I can play Demon Souls as well? Should I play Demon Souls too? And like just play with a Demon Souls Greatsword or no? No. Because I'm probably going to combine them together. I'll probably like combine the Guts' Greatsword and the Zwei Hander in the same video. Because there's only four. There's only four like... Greatswords. That's not even going to be like long enough for an actual video. Unless it's going to last like four minutes or five minutes. Demon Souls can sit this one out. So I do I seriously do an entire marathon for a five minute video? <laughs> I'm playing four games, so I guess... A Raptor Talons run? What am I gonna do with a Raptor Talons run? Include it? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, we're done for today. We are donezos. We are donezos. Uh, mm, 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 mm. 
Cool. Okay, I'll be on tomorrow. Thanks everyone for stopping by. Hope you guys have a wonderful night. And I'll catch you guys around. Bye.